Turbo. Mm-hmm. You know, and I like the game. A lot of people like the game a lot. Um, but, I mean, comparing it to, say, uh, as the most balanced OG Street Fighter out there, there's hyper fighting to challenge that. And, I mean, I, I have some knowledge of hyper fighting, but nowhere near, like, the OGs of that game. You know, why, why, why don't we have that game in our roster? Like I said, it's, it's up to the players. You, you know, have a poll on it. You're gonna have enough players play it, sure, but if you're gonna have 20, 30 people just feeling nostalgic one year, uh, and just, just keep it as, like, a, um, what you call it, lack of a better term, just, just a classic little tournament, you know, just for a sideshow. Not, not, not making anything big. Um, do you, um, well, see, the thing about it is, um, it, when I was talking to APOC last night, you know, one of the things that comes to mind is, you know, you really, you very rarely mention Alpha, except when Alpha is mentioned to you. You know, how do you feel about the series now? Alpha 1 is really broken. Mm-hmm. The most broken of the series. Alpha 2 is the most balanced, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. Alpha 3, you're forced to learn V-isms, like Serlin said. Mm-hmm. And, I mean, all the other modes... I just, you know, it, it's kind of like a prequel to CVS too. Mm-hmm. You're forced to use counter, you know, counter uh, grooves or counter visms mm-hmm. for certain characters. And off of two, you had, you know, the best of both worlds. You know, you have the custom combo, you have air blocking, off of counter, supers. Uh, I mean, for the people that think um, that Vice CC is broken, I don't think they've played the game at its prime to see how it's been countered. You know, they don't... I mean, we're talking about Alpha 3 was probably the oldest game that has been put in on the um, on YouTube um, in the States versus um, Japanese... Um, like say, a, a gamist a videotape that's barely been been put on YouTube. So you 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 don't like a lot of people don't know, um, uh, or have any history or or let's say, um, any 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 old old school um, a library on U- United States uh, old school tournaments. Mm-hmm. Okay, I mean you have some. I mean you don't even you don't even have any for. Um, Street Fighter 3 New Generation, you don't have any for Second Impact. Mm-hmm. And those games have been out for a while. I mean, you don't have uh, any for Marvel vs. Capcom 1. So, um, I'm kind of talking quiet right now because there's someone sleeping next to me right now. Oh, okay, because I was being, wondering, you were sounding kind of weird. You sound like you're depressed or something, or mad. No, no, I'm just um, being courteous. Okay. No problem. Um, but um, all right. Well, well, that, well I mean, that, that explains some things, you know. Um, I guess you know when APOC goes on, I'll let him explain more. I'm just reeling with you know what we were talking about last night. Um, I do really hope that this whole casual thing works out. You know, I wish you the best of luck on that, and just let me know if you need any help on it. Um. Oh, um, a Toshin. Um, that's up to you. I mean, if you want, if you want to give up your spot for it, then, then that's fine. I don't mind. Um. Well, shoot, I don't want to ask you too many questions because you know, if you got someone sleeping by you, then. No, that's cool. Um, there was something else I wanted to ask you. And I'm kind of exhausted, you know, that's cool. <laughs> oh, I sh- Long day? No, not exactly. He's, uh, he's just recovering from some hard work. 
That's what I meant. I don't think it accomplished a whole day. If it did, then damn. Uh, everyone else still on the line? Yeah. Yep. Oh, oh God, we got diseased Judds on here. What's up? I'd love to know where all this uh, mad tetranet came from in the chat, because Ski is hyping it now. I, believe. I, I, I used to play um, Worms, or Worms 2 on the net, a long time ago. Worms is fun. I think Jeff Schaefer uh, showed me that game a while ago. Same with a tetranet. Okay, I'm going to call you guys in a little bit and just give them directions and then uh, showtime. All right, cool. All right, man. All right. Later, Alex. Alex with the underground, as always. So I picked up that Cough 2006 game today. Finally. You picked up what? It? King of Fighters 2006, which is basically Maximum Impact 2. Mm -hmm. And it's alright so far. My friends are upstairs playing it, and I haven't, you know, really cracked into it. But I love it. There's a thread going on SRK if anybody checked it out. I heard the game was horrible, but I forgot who told me that. I See, I haven't heard all the positive stuff about it. Like, I know Maximum Impact wasn't that good, but this is like Tekken speed, it's so it's like faster, and it's got some depth to it. It's not just like mashing. And it's got some cool unlocks, so I don't know. I mean I'm not totally big into King of Fighters or anything, but I it was like good price, you know. Pick it up as an alternative. Hmm. I mean I haven't I picked up sl I got slash yesterday too, so I've got games that I gotta play. Do you have um, an import PlayStation too? Yeah, I got um, an imports uh, thing on my PS2, yeah. Oh, okay. So, yeah, I can pick up imports. Alright. Who's this? Oh, that was, that was Katie. I couldn't get it to it in time. Alright, um... What else do I want to do? Let me see if there's anything new. Yeah, it's kind of hard for news when we already know about the Digital Life Tournament. <laughs> Ooh, Ninja Gaiden is coming to PlayStation. What? Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Okay, we confirmed that we will not be region free as previously reported. Um, Microsoft will release the Xbox 360 HD DVD player in Japan on November the 17th for US $177. It will come with Universal Media Remote for Xbox 360. HD DVD player will be only used for videos. Okay, then why don't you fucking call in and let's hear what stupid shit you have to say today. Come on. White Knight Story. Why does that seem familiar? What? White Knight Story, that seems familiar. Ninja Guided Sigma, Sigma for PlayStation 3. 
<laughs> the game is an enhanced version of Ninja Gaiden for Xbox, so it's not like the business from scratch then. The female protagonist, Rachel, will be a playable character. There will be additional levels, weapons, and new combat system not found in the original. Sony confirmed that Genji Days of the Blade and Ridge Racer 7 are both launch titles for the PlayStation 3. Um, I don't know what Genji is. Ridge Racer, well, when has it ever been a launch where Ridge Racer was not a launch title? Sony's driving image simulation game, Gran Turismo HD, will be released in Japan in December. Great. So about those Xbox roll-ups? Hmm? Xbox roll-ups. The fuck? Fruit roll-ups. Wow. Fruit roll up. Okay, they said Final Fantasy twelve Revenant Rings. The story does not tie with or take There's place. There's only four. Go ahead. Before the stories of Final Fantasy twelve. Hello. What's up? Can you hear this? Yep. Okay, cool. I guess it's just the uh, it's just a speakers then because this headset for some reason uh, I don't know. I, I can't hear out of the, the headset, but I guess I can talk into the microphone, so. But anyway, so, uh, Ben, I might have missed this before. Uh, what happened with that interview that you had going on? Which one? The one with your apartment complex? Um, interview went good. Um, he said he'll get back to me in a few days. Um, he has two more interviews to do. That's good, I guess. But uh, uh, this is just out to a uh, ski right now. Uh, I downloaded uh, Tetranet 1.13, and uh, whenever I double click it, I get like a window to pop up for one uh, like a screen wipe, and then it disappears. I don't know what the fuck is going on. Tetranet is mad old though. I love it. I'm gonna have tetrafast.exe. I double click it. Open file security warning window pops up. Standard Windows bullshit. I click run. And something pops up for one screen wipe. Which version did you get? 1.13 because that's what a uh, ski. Sorry, right, hold on, let me. Tetranet standard. Okay. I probably downloaded the wrong version. Excuse me, okay. if you get There we go, I got it. Okay, 15 files and zip successfully. I downloaded the wrong version, apparently. So Anyone here watch Top uh, Gear? Huh? Anyone here watch Top Gear? What's Top Gear? I do. Show. Hold on, let me post this link. You can. Yeah, it's one. It's three parts. Damn. <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. What is it? How can you top out a car at 300 million? Haha. That fix. All right. Uh, you guys are talking about cars and shit, and just to get to try and bring it back to like a video game thing, and I talk about Top Gear. But um, I was linked to a a, a OneUp.com post today that was talking about Gran Turismo for PlayStation 3, and they said, well, according to the uh, the link that I read. Um, that on uh, the Gran Turismo 5, which would you know would be I don't know it's like Gran Turismo high definition or 
and there's like two packages. I don't know. There's a whole bunch of confusing shit that's going on or whatever like that. But supposedly you're supposed to be uh, like up. There's like 50 courses and 750 cars that would be available. But when you first purchase the game, it may cost. I'm not exactly sure. Maybe uh, twenty dollars, or it may be fifty dollars or sixty dollars, like a standard uh, PS3 game. But um, uh, the way that I read the post and the way that everybody interpreted it is that you start out with like fifty cars and two courses, and every additional course that you buy costs like between fifteen hundred yen. Uh yeah you know you yeah I'm sure you probably read that uh, notice or whatever like that it's like uh you know it's like between a dollar fifty and two dollars and every car that you buy is between like fifty cents and eighty cents or something like that which would yep. mean if you wanted a full copy of the game with all the courses and all the tracks to be playable online you'd have to spend like nine hundred dollars. So who makes this game? Sony Computer Entertainment, right? Uh, Gran Turismo. Let me. I actually It'll I have, G, I have GT4 in this drawer right here. It will fail because quick. no one is going to play it and pay all that money. No, it's uh, it's made by. It's, it's probably uh, made by like Polyphony. three quarters of the hard drive too. It's made by Polyphony Digital. That's the uh, that's the producer of the game, I believe. Uh huh. And just the person and uh, SCEA just uh, you know stamps out the DVDs. Uh-huh. But you know. It's it was just like you know it's interesting because I'm, I'm a driving I'm a racing game enthusiast. Those are the games that I enjoy playing the most, except for fight. Well, I won't say except for fighting games, but you know, uh, besides fighting games, I like playing racing games the most. And this like, was this was a big disappointment to me because I I would like to see Gran Turismo you know reach the level of uh, Forza, which I don't know if you have played it for Xbox or not. But it's a very good game. Yeah. It's, Forza, Forza is very, very good. And even though it doesn't have like the, the depth as far as uh, cars are concerned, it doesn't have as many cars. It has like it has pretty much the same amount of courses, and you can actually get more in depth as far as uh, up or um, modifying your car and uh, cha- you know changing all, all your shit on the car. You know all the little minute details to, you know, shave a tenth of a second off your time on a course or whatever like that, you know, because this this will help me get it, you know, if I change the roll bars to, you know, plus one degree, then I'm going to be able to get around this corner faster and there's a certain amount of bumps or whatever like that, you know. And they they introduced a couple new courses, you know, like the downhill courses and the uphill courses, the point-to-point shit. I'm sorry, who somebody was going to say something. Easy, my bad. I no, I was just going to say, do you like uh, console drivers more like arcade stuff? Like, I play like OutRun 2 and stuff like in the arcade. I love that stuff. Those uh, arcade arcade uh, drivers are very easy, in my opinion. Yeah. It, Except uh, I think the only uh, difficult arcade drivers are uh, Initial D, which isn't even very that difficult, and uh, Daytona USA. All the other ones, like the Cruising USA and the Cruising Series, the OutRun Series... Uh, the San Francisco Rush series are all very, very easy compared to uh, console racers. Yeah, because oh yeah, you can you just crank the steering wheel in one direction and there, there's no fucking you, you can't spin out. You don't have a a rear wheel drive car. You're not gonna fucking have too much torque for the corner or whatever like that, and you're not gonna spin out. You know, for so arcade races are kind of arcade races are kind of meh to me. I, I like Daytona and I like Initial D, but I like console races better. There's a, there's a lot more depth to it. The last racing game I got was like like F Zero for the GameCube. F Zero was F Zero was tough after you got like. I can't even fucking remember how many stages were on there, but I think after you got like the ninth, after you got past the ninth stage or something like that, I think the F Zero series was pretty hard. After you got to a certain point, F Zero was so fun though. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Let me see. Hold on. Let me see if I can get this Tetranet thing working. I didn't even try it yet. I've been busy bullshitting. Uh. Ski here. 
He's not on the Skype line. He's, he's playing the game, though. Uh, it's not. Fuck. Okay. What are you doing? Well, this thing said it unzipped uh, 15 files successfully to C colon forward slash uh, Tetranet. Right. And I'm I'm looking in my C drive. Mm-hmm. Oh wait, maybe I shouldn't I shouldn't be in program files. Yeah, it's up. Tetra- yeah, there we go. I fucked up. I went to program. No, that yeah, it's always like that. That's the first thing. It's like, yo, ch- it's not the program files. You know, it should be. <laughs> Alright, so I have this thing open. I have Tetranet open. I have absolutely no idea what to do. <laughs> I, see, oh, I see show fields, party okay, line, okay, okay. winless, to, miscellaneous. What do you want to do is uh, go to like a. Uh, what uh, the? Uh, uh, what the hell was that? Ben's getting funky on us. No, He's got the silo out. Oh my god! That freaking aim! <laughs> freaking aim! Yeah. Oh man, he he fucking he scrolled over that that ad that's at the top of the aim thing for like get this get this ringtone on your cell phone and it gives you the preview. I'm pretty well, sure that's exactly what happened. Just get exactly the data cable for this MP3 and make it even easier, but you know. <laughs> but anyway, so what you were telling me? Yeah, yeah. It's a uh, go to the client settings. Okay. And you put the server IP in, which is whatever what I get from these people. Yeah, from from Ski. You just scroll up a couple pages, and then put your nickname okay. and, hit, and hit connect, and then go to party line. Uh, yeah, Tetranet standard. Double click thing. Uh, Kitty, you coming? I see. Oh, I don't see an IP. Here, here. I'll I'll link you. One second. Are you playing right now? Yeah. Well, I was I was about to connect. All right. What's the uh, what's the difference between Tetranet and Tetris? Because I know that it said since this is your first time playing, you should read the the fact or whatever. Okay, this game has like it's kind of, um special blocks. I'll figure it out. Okay. <laughs> All right. So <laughs> t- no, tell me, tell me about the special blocks. Okay. There's like uh, you, in the middle of the playfield, you know, there's a red square that'll be the la- your most current block, right? And it'll be a letter. So like, if you hit A, it'll it'll like add line someone. But you have to like select the square where it's gonna go. Like if I'm in field three, which I, I'm playing right now, uh, if you want to attack me directly, uh, you you hit three or and then you start hitting A. And and if you have any A blocks in your special block line, it'll add blocks to my field or whatever field you choose. It's there's not just A. There's like C. Which are like clear lines. There's like B block, which will like uh, block bomb. And then there's like a whole bunch of different ones. You might want to check the readme because there's like 15 different blocks. I just fucking hit buttons and. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, how long does this take to uh, connect to the server? Like f- five seconds. Yo, you guys know t- uh, that DOA four player Tom Brady got? Uh, he joined Check Six. He joined what? Check what Six. It's uh, another like gaming organization. Place to be. They have Counter Strike teams and Quake players. And... Yo, we'll be right back, guys. All right. I was kind of disappointed because I was expecting Tom Brady for the Patriots, but. Hmm. Oh, okay. Now, now I'm hitting a connect button, and I'm get I'm getting this fucking like boom noise. All right, Toshin's not here anymore. I forgot. But no window has. Uh, oh, okay. There we go. That's a problem. Now, phase if you're listening, you suck. Thank you. Please come again. Wow, I'm. Um... 
Okay. What the hell am I supposed to do? Another random ass game for us to play. <laughs> so I guess I'm gonna sit here and try is to it watch. Is like regular Tetris, or is it like nothing like regular Tetris? I have no idea. I'm looking at it, and I have a bunch of blocks on my screen, and I'm looking at it, and I mean, it looks like regular Tetris pieces are dropping, but. All right, sorry guys, my 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 sound card is like whacked out there, so I I had to f fuck with some settings. Okay, Katie, you want basic moves? Well, I mean, I'm looking at what's going on. I'm watching uh, Bronson Ski and uh, Drew BS play right now. Yeah. And like I I see like the regular Tetris blocks dropping down and stuff like that. Yep. And I see all the stuff that's going on in the attack defense window. Drew is pretty good. I, I taught him myself. <laughs> what? Are you giving up free strategies again? So, so is uh, is Ben a uh, he's a Tetranet master? I just generally fucked up because my sound is just like going all crazy. I'll show them these guys. I'll show these guys. Watch. What's this fire? What? Yo, you're not the radio. Hey, what's up? Hey, Who's this? This is John. Oh, hey, Ophine, what's up? What's going on? Who's this? Kitty, Toshin, me, and Bunky. Me and Judds. The disease. Yeah. Good shit. You should get on this Tetranet shit, man. What do you call? I can't hear from the... I can't hear from the... Uh, the internet, so... This is how I'm going to listen in. Ah, uh, what? Did you, you get your internet? Did you get your internet cut off? No, it's on 56k. Yeah. Uh. I'm on 56k, but wait, like, wait, 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 wait. You don't. You're not telling the whole story, John. You you on 56k AOL? <laughs> oh yeah. man. Yeah, it's so bad. He's fucking 1995 in this shit. Yo, I was just about to say <laughs> that. Yo. <laughs> Yo, what the what the hell was that? What was that service back in uh, 1995? The one that had the big spider. Wow, Zero. right? No, no it wasn't no, called no, Wow. Uh, spider, spider web. <laughs> nah, shit, I can't remember. But it was some, you know, something that just. Uh... Shit. Oh shit! Damn, Drew BS one. I told you. Ah, oh, what the hell is it called? It was like one okay, of the okay. first. Yeah, what's up? How did now? When does this start? What the game? Yeah. It's whenever Ski says he's he's got the server right, so he does a little countdown thing, and then when it says one, then it usually starts, and it'll swap over. Now, do I try to play this like regular Tetris? I'm looking yeah, at that okay. big screen on the left. All right, keep it like regular Tetris, right? You gotta get lines. Now you get lines, you get your blocks. You your special blocks, so like the better lines you get, you do. Like if you get a Tetris, you get better blocks or okay. special blocks. So just try to keep it like regular Tetris. But when you start getting special blocks, that's when you gotta start figuring out: Do I want to attack this guy or do I want to clear lines off so you can keep low? Right. What version do I have to get? 1.13 for Windows. Okay, you want a link? To, yeah, I can't get to the Tetranet site though. Wait, no. Uh. Yeah, I'll get you along. Drew, Ooh, you have nice check. feet. Who has nice feet? What? Nice. What? Ben's looking at porn. Oh, okay. Is it 7 or 9 again? I'm not looking at porn. You have nice feet? 
<laughs> and you say you're not looking at porn. So I can't talk for some reason right now. I have to wait for Ski to start the game to talk. Oh God. Oh man, not that again. Again. Hey, let's do there this. we go. Okay. Quick drop is like down. Yep. Tate is up. Oh no, quick drop is a space. Sorry. Drew, remember what I told you. Remember, you get to be one with the blocks. It's not over till the last drop is dropped. <laughs> oh shit! Drew, also remember, if you lose, you're out of the family. Isn't that what Limson Bird said? Oh, now I got some blocks. You guys are all in trouble. If I can get this right. I remember how the music is so catchy in this game. Fuck, I can't like move my shit over when it gets to the bottom of the screen. Yeah, you can. It takes like a split second if you want to move it. It won't rest until it makes a little thunk, uh, thunk sound. How do I turn this sound off? Uh, I don't think you can. <laughs> I turned. That's that's one of the things. Is my speakers I had to switch over. Oh, how am I gonna do this? Okay. <laughs> I can't. Someone send me the the version because I can't get to the internet. All right, I'll give it to you after this game. Hold up. I'm in the middle of the setting you all up. Curveball. You guys are playing uh, search, searching it. Get in on this, man. Nah, that's not what I'm doing. Oh, come on. Tetris is easy, man. It's Tetris. Right. Okay, you can coach you on the fly for curveball, I guess. Oh. I'm dying. Judge, man, I told you what to do, man. I'm still confused. How do I use my special box? Uh, you just hit one. In, in oh, shit. You hit the field that you want to attack. I can't. It. Can't? So I have like two A's and an N. Fuck. Here, kid, I'll help you out. Oh, oh no! <laughs> Shit. Oh, wait, never mind. Oh. Jazz, aren't you gonna get something for your, uh, what's the panel? Oh, you know, you know, go get some herbal tea. It's 11 o'clock. Wait, I'm still trying to figure out how to fucking use my special blocks. Don't you got like a 24-hour Walgreens? No. Good. No? Oh, there's a riot aid up there, but I'm not getting, I'm not going. Alright, be miserable. I will. You know it's a boy on the radio when we're all playing our catcher net and just waiting for something to happen. <laughs> Not that I'm complaining. How do I use my special shit? <laughs> okay, what, what should you have highlighted right now? I 
Dude. I don't have anybody highlighted right now. Freaking aim window caused me to lose a. What? Freaking I have an O and an R block. Whoa. Hit one. Whoa. Hit one? Yep. I hit. I hit one a couple of times. Good. Oh, uh, shit. Shit. Stop. Up. He's going to do it. Nah. <laughs> Shit! Ha <laughs> ha! Got yeah, ski! My fault. Hello? Hello? What's up, John? Yeah, my fault. It's alright. Damn right, it's your fault. You caused me to lose a ball. Damn you, my bad. No, I'm just kidding. It was actually <laughs> How could you? Okay. All right, I'm gonna play something else. Let's see. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! The hell was that? Funk man, he's doing some random stuff. Oh my god. Are you like playing Quake? <laughs> no, I was playing like Cat or whatever this yeah. is called. Yeah. Okay, then. That's that. Um. There we go. That sounded so wrong. Yes. Oh my god. So when was Apox gonna call? Like after 8 you said? After 8 p.m. I don't yeah. know where he is. No. Let's see. Okay. Let's see here. There we go. Nice! Nice. What are you watching? I was playing the kid in launch game or whatever that shit's called. I That's thought you were playing the Nanda Crash. That still wasn't even a thousand feet. Hold on. Thousand feet? Oh my gosh. Oh, that sucks. You know what sucks? Hear the sound of the fucking launched. That's a very bad sound. Ah, oh, fuck. The shit's broken, it doesn't work right. Because the move that I just tried to do, you can actually do on uh, original Tetris. And you couldn't do it on this. Shoot. You gotta get the... Nice. Hey, Ben. What? What do you call it? You know what I think will help with, uh, fighting games? What? If we... If we, like, find all the rappers on MySpace... Like shit's broken. Send them like links and shit. He's sending you mad stuff though. Did you just say the best way to help to help the fighting game community is to find rappers on MySpace? What the hell are you talking shit's about? Shit's yeah. really broken. Why would we want rappers on here so we can hear their? <laughs> if you got any C's, I sounds? could use them. <laughs> yo, so I like, talk about fucking shit and rap songs, yo. Shit's really broken. It just killed me. Okay, I want this one to last. Yeah, that just Yay! fucking killed me. Alright. Okay, now I gotta play, like, survival mode right here. 
I want to turn this. Survival oh, no. <laughs> you guys want to see survival Tetris? You guys want to see survival Tetris? Watch me play right now. Oh, nice. Damn it. Alright, so many noises. Dang. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I need to turn off that fucking noise. I don't like that sound that's coming from this shit. Damn it, he just landed right in. Alright, so how do I use my things? Okay, when you get a special block, like say you have an A highlighted in your special column. Okay, so I'm looking at that black bomb row that's right above the text box, right? Yes. Now, so I if, pick one of those. No, it, it's the one that's the the most the, one of the highlighted red block is the one that's right. going to use next. Okay. Say if you're on player, f if, if you're you're field four, right? If you want to attack me in field three, hit three. Okay. When it, and that's it. That's how simple it is. That's how simple it is. Okay. Once you get that, just keep dropping blocks. I'll figure out what they do. Oh, it's not hard. I just, I just don't like how it is because it seems like I try to be right. I don't know. I try to drop something down really fast, yeah, and then move it over, and it doesn't work. <laughs> oh, what the uh, hell? Yeah, that's uh, block weight. That's some bad ass shit. Remember that? <laughs> oh my god. You can also attack yourself. But that's some high level shit. <laughs> See, I just tried to move that thing over at the last second and it didn't let me. Oh, okay. It's just broken. I don't. I don't like this game just because of that. It didn't work. Uh oh, see that? It fucked up again. That, this shit. This shit's retarded, dude. Yo, just that dude. This is here, uh, though, he's giving me advice.
a bad thing about Tetris is that you have to be fast as hell to win this game. Yo, oh, you did that at the wrong time. Get away from the oh, I hope he does something to me. How do I turn this fucking music off? Delete it. <laughs> Just go delete Thank it. Thank you. Where? It's in a files. Uh, data, f data folder. All I those so. MP3s. Just gonna delete all those fucking MP3s. Get the hell out of here. I'm playing that Maca Crash with the purple bitch to save me from the green bitch. Thank you. Cause I. Cannot delete Tetranet, it's being used by another personal program. Turn off, just turn it off. Uh -huh. Kid, if you yeah. really want, I'll show you how to poison it like, later. Hold on, yeah. I'm gonna delete that shit, I'll be right back on there, hold on. Yeah. Well, we, he shut down the server, so. Uh. Okay, who's, who's playing, playing mini golf? Oh my god. <laughs> Damn it. Alright, anyway, let's get back to something else. Nah, I wanna fucking play this game. You wanna play some more Tetranet? Shit. I, I mean, I like it, I just think it's it's not like real Tetris, because like I said before, I tried to do certain moves that you can do in Tetris, and you couldn't do it on Tetranet. Like, you couldn't turn it after it was on top of another block and try to squeeze it into a certain place. And it just it just didn't work. It, you, couldn't, you couldn't do certain Tetris moves. Hey, who's head cold? Hey, hey, John, can you call back? This is Alex. Alex? Ooh, good green. <laughs> Alright, cool. Hey Alex, what's up? The hell? What is happening? Do you want me to like push the air funk? Hello? I hear someone. Hello? Hello? So what's this about Apoc coming on? Now he, I talked to him last, um, or really early this morning. He said he was going to be on tonight, so. Yeah, that's what made me want to come on tonight. I guess Apoc is the shit in Puzzle Fighter. Huh? Oh, Apoc is supposed to be the Puzzle Fighter man. Who's this? Yo, you're on Alpha's radio. Hello? Park once if you're in Milwaukee. <laughs> what? Yo, Bunk, do you want me to switch out and do you a room or something? Or What? Do you want me to switch out because there's like five people here? No, I mean, this is from an unknown number. I don't know who this is. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, we're good for now. Yeah, Apoc does play Puzzle Fighter, doesn't he? I forgot about that. He's a beast. So I hear. And I'll believe it. You don't believe it or you do believe no, it? No, I'll believe it. Oh. I will believe it. After all, he, you know, he's doing this. Hello? I'd be barked. Don't make me kick your neck. Don't make me what? kick your neck. What? Don't make me kick your neck. Don't make me kick, Don't make your, me neck. kick your neck. Alright, how do I get, um... 
my fucking IP so I can host the game on this well, shit. Well, actually, whoever whoever wasn't the prank caller was trying to get through, you can call back now. I don't know, I don't recognize this. Do you need your IP, Kitty? Actually, I think that well, was. Well, I want to host the game. All right, start server. Never mind. I see this shit. I'll give you your IP if you want it. I mean, it's no deal. Okay, click start server. Yep. Uh, nothing's happening. No, it started. You gotta go to a pub oh, I went to show fields. Well, that was Jason actually, but because of the fucking um prank caller, I couldn't let him on the line. Here, bunk. Do you want me to move? Do you want me to move out so you got space so you can like figure this all out? Like, or are you good? Like, huh? Jenna, wait, Jenna here? Yes. What? Yeah. What? 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 What the hell's going on? I'm hearing like three fucking ring. Like, how do I start this shit? Here, here, j keep me. Throw me a PM, Ryan. I'll help you. All right, Ski gave me my fucking IP. Right. Yep, he gave me my IP. And no, no, keep it. Put the private message so you know. I can tell people really faster there. Or if you want, you connect yeah. a temp server. Keep it easy. All right, let's go there then. Okay. What's this shit? What? What are you talking about? Skype chat. Yeah. Good. You've never seen that? that no. That does have chat. Everybody was kung fu fighting. As long as I got rid of that fucking music. <laughs> Oh my god, I smell shenanigans. I call shenanigans. I don't sweat, you bring it on, bitch. Now how are you gonna act? Unable to locate connect to address. Fucking Tepis fails. You will bow to me. Yes, dude. Hey, dumbass. Okay, let's go. One. Ah. Yeah, Jenna is talking about puzzle oh. fighter rank games. <laughs> number one, Vegas. Number two, Riot. New York. Number four, Jenna. I've never played fucking puzzle fighter before in my entire life, but give me, give me two weeks. You done? Oh, you go to me in puzzle fighter. You done? Two weeks. Actually, right, I've so never seen Japanese play Puzzle Fighter. So, Tempest server didn't work. Yeah, I've never seen anybody play Puzzle hey, Fighter who's in gonna, Japan who either. Who can get up their spot so okay. I can call this number back like quick? No, I don't mind. I'll give up. Wait, hold on. Let me just pause this. Oh. Alright. Alright. Hold on for a second. Who are we calling? I don't know. I don't know the number. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna start this server. I click the start server button. Yeah. And now. What? Uh, this one's like Alex. Yo. What's up, man? Hey, what's up, brother? Freaking um. You got a pocket note on the phone yet, or what? No, they haven't um they haven't called in yet. All right. All right. Um, Mr. Yeah, sorry, Valle, I have man. a question for you. I'm sorry. Hey, what? I have a question for you. Who, who, who this? It's Jinrai. Oh, all right. Oil lover, what's up? Well, this is as a puzzle fighter lover. Uh, I heard uh, Justin Wong is pretty shitty at puzzle fighter. Is that true? I uh, never played him in puzzle fighter, so I can neither okay. confirm or deny that one. Okay, well, I'm going to have to ask someone that's in New York then. Oh, well. Dude, so how's the casual thing going? I'm on the way there, dude. Uh, yeah, I'm on the way there. So, I'm mean, gonna be playing all night, dude. Haha, <laughs> somebody's calling. Yeah, I think that's actually them. Hold on for one sec, I'm gonna actually call right. remember. 
Hey, this is South Asian Radio. Hey, what's up, man? Hey, what's up? Who's this? This is Jack. Oh, what's up, man? Hey, I was <laughs> Sorry about that. We had a prank caller that kept on calling in, and that was, like, blocking your call. So I apologize for that. So. Uh, I just left you a message. Uh, so how are you doing? Uh, I'm chilling. I'm going to call her tonight in a couple hours. I work in the morning. Uh, I hear that. Um, it's like, did you, would you manage to get hold of uh, a Nelson, or? Uh, he's supposed to be calling me any second. We're going to hook up in a minute. All right, cool. Uh, if you want, I can call you back and see what he's doing real quick. Huh? If you want, I can call it back and see what he's doing real quick. Oh, well, no, whatever is good for you. <laughs> also, I got, um, I just got Alex on the line here, too, via. Bye. Bye? Yeah. What's up, champ? Hey, what up? What up, McClone? Ha ha ha. don't even know what that is. That's Sound you, like bro. Mario was. <laughs> true that, true that. That's true that, I think. <laughs> so how you been, bro? Good job at Evo, for sure. Uh, you know, uh, uh, these kids, uh, you know, need to, need to remember fucking how to do it. You know, these guys gotta... Right. Fucking, they gotta practice, bro. And everybody that's been fucking off this past five years that has been dormant, you know, fucking this year hopefully it would uh, spark some new motivation. Yeah, we just so, need somebody um, to lead, my man. Yeah, man. Uh, how you been, bro? Oh, I've been alright. You know, I'm just doing the bartending thing and showing up uh, up north a bit. <laughs> I think oh, about a. Uh, Playing this year Let myself, me, me and Nelly were talking about it. Uh, now I got hey, somebody to play. Um, what was that? Hey, um, for those of you guys, for those that are listening that don't know uh, APOC's history, he's uh, before my time, back in uh, Tomo Watson Schaefer days. Uh, you don't got to tell everybody how old first, I am, buddy. Yeah, yeah, he was, he was one of the first to beat uh, Tomo in a tournament. Um, you know, it's, it's records before my time. And at the time when I was starting to learn OG, I couldn't touch Jason or Apoc. So he's one of the OGs. You guys don't know. You gotta constantly, yeah, you 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 gotta constantly remind you know the kids that are just opening up YouTube, the kids that are just signing on SRK a couple years ago because they don't know. And I've been reading up for the past year. I've actually been paying attention. And you constantly have to repeat what has happened in the past for them to understand. That's just the way it is, oh, yeah. or or you or, or they just say you're a chump, and that's you know, honestly, I give oh, respect I, to you, Jason, because yeah, yeah, just because, yeah, I give respect to you, Jason, because you've been around and you know how it is. So, oh uh, yeah, I appreciate it, bro. I, I saw that uh, thing you're trying to set up online, and that's a great idea, bro. I think that'll get a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? Because after this year, beating Bagel in two games, you know, you made a hell of a comeback. Yo, this, fuck this. Key, you know, I think people are getting excited now. Retarded double team and triple team and everybody on my fucking ass. Retarded shit. Uh? That's it's fucking... Right. It's it's wild, pussy. Fucking, we're playing Tetranet, and, like, I got, to, I got to drop, like, four blocks before everybody just decided to fucking bomb me with a shitload of garbage and I didn't even get to fucking play whatever fucking Ooh, quadruple okay, that's fantastic. fucking quadruple team in my ass and shit that's well, you don't, you don't you like to be, you don't like to be right? gangbang like that or what huh yeah, never mind dude nah I didn't hear what you you're said gonna, what'd you say <laughs> you're gonna talk about Tetranet man why don't you just message your Skype friends bro Nah, dude, I'm just, I was just pissed off, so, what's, what happened, alright, uh, what's the deal That's with that, you know? YouTube videos suck. One at a time, please. Hello? Wow, that's kind of like when, you know, you're calling them party line and shit. 
was fucking the gangbang line. I'm going to put you guys in holes for a second. Oh, I didn't notice that APOC was on. APOC! APOC, Saber says what's up. Who's who? Saber says what's up. What's up, dog? I say what's up. (laughs) Hello! What's up from Canada? Pretty much. East Coast and West Coast. Me and uh, Nelson were talking about uh, maybe cruising up there once. Hey, whatever happened to Racial One Beatdown? He's still in Toronto. And he's, he's still, still cool. Playing? He's still high. Yeah, <laughs> That's what we're the player. Sure. Hey, um, hey, hey, Bob, so actually, why don't you tell, like, the people that are listening right now, why don't you tell them, um, what you told me about Alpha and you wanted to see it back next year. Oh, I, I probably said all this. I just, I, you know, I'm all for including other games. I mean, that's points proven from 98. You know, I had Virtual Fighter, I had Second. I included, you know, every fighting game that was being played at the time. So I think people have a misunderstanding. You know, if I talk about Alpha, they think I'm just in other games. And, you know, really, I'm just saying, take care of home real quick. You know, they don't have to add any money, just officialize it. I had a friend, you know, post online the same stuff. So, it's been said, it's just an idea that it's Alpha, because Alpha never failed at Evo. In fact, B tournaments and Evo were were built on Alpha. So, with, you know, the new anniversary or the anthology out, you know, the community can agree on some rules, or we could just play, you know, the separate games. But that's, there's too many games in one game to just keep the whole thing, especially after uh, the little setup and, uh, at Evo, where nobody really knew what was going on. You know what I mean? So I think by the time this next Evo, perfect time to bring it out. It's kind of like the anniversary edition. You know, this year brought out a lot of old school players, a lot of people that just played old school, you know. In the same sense, you know, you got people like Pyro and stuff that play for the Well, Alpha has its own players, too. You know? Keep, keep what we already have intact, you know. That's what I mean by take care of home first. And then add the other games, too. And then nobody has an attitude towards anybody else, and it feels like it's all inclusive. Where, you know, it feels like Alpha got bumped one year and then never thought of again, and it never it never failed. Oh, my so, shit's broken. That's just, you know, that's just my opinion. You know, but I'm, I, don't, I, don't, I don't run things. Much love to the cannons for what they do. It's just, you know, I'm not going to look at all the parts that are perfect because they don't need to be fixed. You know, cannons do a great job every year. That's my only complaint is that, you know, there's a large part of the community that, kind of dropped off because they weren't being taken care of, so to speak. You know what I mean? You mean you think there'll still be a, a you know, nice, you think there'll still be some good competition in, with Alpha? I mean, if you were to bring back, which, oh, yeah. if, if you had the choice of bringing back which Alpha, which Alpha would you bring back anyway? Oh, you're talking to me. I'm going to say Alpha 3. Okay. Requires the most skill, has the most diversity, you know. It's all about the ease and bar. Okay. I don't, say that again? A is in Balrog. Woo! Oh. Good shit. <laughs> what, B is in Balrog? Oh, I thought you play A is in. No, I do play A is in. I, I couldn't hear you. Yeah, yeah, A is in. <laughs> and also, we need uh, yeah. Puzzle Fighter at Evil. Come on. You know what I'm That'd talking about. That'd be a about. nice uh, tournament. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, it's kind of an old game. They never made a sequel for it, which is crazy because when I lived in Vegas, that game took over all the fighters for, for a hot minute. We had tournaments for that all the time. So, you know, I think uh, Dreamcast Puzzle Fighter would be the best shit ever. Two reasons. Number one, you can give every character Ken's pattern. And number two, you got that pressing up thing, so your piece teleports to the bottom. Makes games a lot faster. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But basically, it's the balance thing, because Ken is way, way too gay. What about um, what about people who say that, like, Alpha 3 is too busted, you know? I mean, I've heard that a lot. Alpha 3 is too busted? It's too busted. Well, you know, I've, I've, heard, I've heard crap like that before. And, uh, I mean, there's games like Tekken, uh, even, even from Old School Street, where, you know, one opening can kill you. You know what I mean? You see Bryson, you know, I'm sure you saw it evil. Bryson hits one, scissor kick the rounds over. You know? Mm-hmm. So you, you put that at a game like Alpha, and okay, you might get the custom off. But you still can't mess it up. 
it's going to take forever. It could get tedious. You can get you can get messed up at any point. So just like the other games, it's just, I don't know, watch, watching it might be a little boring, but I've, I've heard stories like this before. When somebody's trying to set up a custom, that tells you, you know, what they're doing a lot of the time. I remember once uh, talking to Saber, who's a pretty good offensive player, and uh, I don't know, maybe maybe the best, one of the, if not the best, uh, in Arizona. I remember him talking about all it takes is land Cody's custom, and it's over. You'd be surprised how, how tight some of those things are. People don't realize that a lot of setups that they're getting hit with, there's infinite. You might not be able to flip, but you can still roll, you know? So I think a lot of people don't understand uh, the difference in Alpha Plus. Uh, if you play Alpha 3, even even look at the diversity of characters in, in Japan. Sure, there's some infinite characters, but how many infinite characters have won tournaments? I mean, you look at the case, the main tournament winners were A. Dalton, B. Akuma, Sakura, all characters that don't have infinite. So if it's really that game-breaking, how come people aren't winning with it? Me? Well, you know one yeah, thing I, I think that's it. gay about Alpha Three. Uh, did you see that uh, latest HO batch? It's uh, a HO. It uh, had Aism guy against Vism Akuma. No, I and was eight. Yeah, and the Aism guy no, was working his ass off, right? He hit confirms a low strong to level three punch super. That's pretty tight, uh-huh. and it only does like ten percent damage. That's a lot of work for ten percent. He's been like. talking about uh, the, the Beism Akuma that landed the combo and it didn't do anything? No, no. Uh, Aism Guy uh, he confirmed a low strong into uh, into level 3 punch super. Aism Guy did that on Via Akuma. And it did like nothing. And then, you know, Akuma, uh, he just gets his custom. damage setting. Oh, it's default damage. But, you know, the game has counter mashing too, so maybe that was it. Mm. I'm not so sure about that, but I mean, if you know, well, uh, I'll, I'll go look it up. It, it might still be up. Because you know, HO when, takes, you, when you get a view of them landed on you, I mean, I've seen some uh, matches of mine online where I'm I'm decimating the opponent, but I'm using X of them. Oh, I was just bitching that the yeah. I mean, I was just bitching that the Aism super did no damage. Mm, I, that that might be a, a character character thing. It might be uh, you know where it ends in the round. You know, sometimes. The damage isn't too consistent. Yeah, oh, good. It's, it's still up. Uh, I'm going to link it. Are you guys in an IRC channel or something? Yeah, doing? Alphaism Radio. It's uh, on FNet. It's on EFNet and it's just uh, Alpha, uh, number Alphaism Radio? Yeah, that's right. Go up there. I'll check the link on that. Yeah. Oh, my God. What the... But I, I think I think just like most good Street Fighters, it comes to how good you play, and that that alone makes it worthy enough. And then if you're gonna say something game breaking, it better it better win, or it's not breaking the game. If you put Akuma in Anniversary Edition, Akuma would have won. <laughs> and you got Champ Bison. Everybody's saying Champ Bison's gonna win. He won East Coast, but he didn't win on the West Coast, and he didn't win in Evo, where the best players. No offense to the East Coast, where the, the absolute best players were. You know. Definitely beatable. I mean, easy to use, definitely a scrub character, but definitely beatable. So that's why he wasn't banned. Same thing with Alpha. Like, if, what, what's what's Alpha's, who's Alpha 3's CE Bison that's easy to pick up, does great damage, you know, great, easy patterns to learn, you know, but can be defeated. Talk about the Champion Edition version? I'm just like, like if you know, you were talking about like in the championship with Bison AE. Like, what's what's Alpha 3's equivalent to that? Where the character is easy to learn. He isn't oh, like, Characters learn in Alpha on Alpha 3. Yeah, that you know, got stuff you can abuse. Um, Golly, he isn't Sakura. Sakura is definitely one of them. Uh, I would say, I would say Chun Chun Li. She requires a lot of little nuances. But just beginning, I think you can go pretty far just because of the priority of our normals. Um, easy, you know, easy is subjective. Because I would say Charlie is easy if you just stick to flippies because he has natural built-in flippies. But if you have no concept of flippies, you can't do anything. So, I don't know. I would say uh, Vism Sagat is actually pretty easy um, as far as damage-wise goes. Kill, kill an X-Men character with one combo. Um, that's it. 
a hard call because that was, you know, one of the more complicated games. So it's hard to say, you know, I wouldn't call it Diaz and character easy because you need to practice the skills for that. I'd say, like, X-Chun is a super scrub character. Uh, that link doesn't work, Jen Ryan. Works for me. Is that Jaron? I was just watching the video again. The super actually did about 20%. And let me uh, let me help you out with that question um, about what who's the CE Bison of Alpha Three? It's X Dalton. That's it. Oh, you know what? I can't believe I didn't think of that. <laughs> but see, the thing the thing, the thing is, uh, unlike um, you know AE, you have a lot of life to play with on uh, Alpha Three. So even if you make one mistake in Alpha Three. Um, there's rarely any 100% combos. There might be an infinite that you might get rejuggled in, but that's your fault for taking wrong. So you can't die off of one super. And and AE, if you block wrong once, and you get thrown, you get thrown by champion edition bison. Not only are you get, do you get into a trap where it's 50 50 of you getting out, um, you can get crossed up and the game's over by like just three setups in a matter of you know maybe eight seconds. Right. Yeah. Eight, eight seconds. Yeah. yeah, it's 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 not really game breaking, but it, it's the the advantage is too much for you know the where 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 the reward is the reward is higher than the risk. Well, that's I'm, 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 watching this, I'm watching this video now, and you know, I, I remember I think I remember seeing this. This is a really good match, you know, a a guy versus B Akuma. You know, I can even tell without knowing much about Alpha that... Who's breathing into the mic? Not me. Okay. I can tell. Um, yeah, I saw, the, I, saw, this guy. I saw the level 3, level three Super. I will say it did about 15% damage. That's really odd. Oh, he got caught in the, v, in the VC. Oh, he's dead. Okay. Yeah, so, yeah. Level, level, three, level, level 3 Supers... Do typically around 30%. Like 15%, that's like maybe uh, crouching forward fireball, like on crouch and uh, knockdown. Yeah. Oh, there was some damage scaling because he was almost dead. Yeah, okay. That, 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 that would count that. Shit, so. It's still pretty gay, though. I mean, level 3 doing that little. Well... I think I think there's a difference between the Japanese Alpha 3 final and the American one because uh, I remember in the Japanese 5 on 5 one round when I was playing box when I guard crushed him I just supered because I thought okay it's just going to kill him I left him with a you know like maybe a strong sword I could have comboed into it but I had no idea it was going to do that little damage it's, it's hard to say but I mean my alpha counters are doing a huge amount where my level 3 does like 25% so I think there's a there's a different version where supers do less I, I wouldn't know. I don't research it. It's been so long. Well, so how do you guys feel about uh, damage scaling? Do you think that if somebody is uh, near close to dying, do you think that a level 3 super should do, you know, that much less damage than it does if somebody has full life? Do you really think that that should apply? Uh, no, but... It, it has before, and it hasn't really destroyed the game. You know, I, I don't know. I used to look at things like that before, like Sagat on Old School. He's, he's like a classic character to know that when he's low on damage, you can hit him with something that would normally do a fierce, and it might do a sliver. Right. You know, it's just one of the things, one of one of his certain features we used to look at, kind of like, you know, the, the unblockable yeah, like, reversible or anything. You know, it's not necessarily linear, but I wouldn't say it's totally unfair, because I still handled Sagat back then, and... You know, it's just a little more... I mean, he was he was the champ before Ryu, so back then I'm thinking, well, he's supposed to be that good. You know, maybe like kind of like getting right. raised. He has a better defense than he's getting lower. Not that I approve of things like that. Things should be, you know, more linear. You know, more accurate as far as what damage does what, but I think it is nowadays. Yeah. So here... All right, well, here's another question along the same lines. Uh, I don't know if you know about that. Uh, you probably do know about it. You know, they have that thread about it, The uh, that CE stream from Korea. Yeah. Um, okay, well, well, regarding that, the uh, the CE stream, the gook vision, as Jinra likes to call it. You bet. <laughs> but um, I've seen, uh, you know, 
matches, uh, you know, two human players playing against each other, where one of the players will have uh, pretty much zero life. They're down to that pixel that you can't see on the screen. And uh, I've seen them block, I don't know, three fireballs. They may all be jab fireballs, but I've seen them block three fireballs and not die from it. When you when you can't see any visible health on the screen, where they have that that one pixel that you can't see on the screen, that you talking about CBS two? No, oh, CE e. Champion Edition. Oh, super cool. I was gonna say I experienced that last on CBS two, called the Invisible Pixel. <laughs> yeah, but you know, so yeah, so that Invisible Pixel, you know, and and CE, uh, Street Fighter two CE, um, I've seen somebody have that Invisible Pixel, and they've blocked. At least three fireballs, you know, like yeah, a, Ryu, a Ryu has them in the corner and they block three fireballs and they still aren't dead. How, how do you, you know, I just don't understand how, how that works. Like, did, does the energy bar go to the middle of the screen and you're missing half an inch or something like that? Or, you know, I'm just, I'm just confused as to how if you have no visible life on the screen, how can you block three fireballs that do significant chip damage at any other time? Is, it, is that just damage scaling? Okay, you know, there's another thing about that, actually. In CE and hyperfighting, uh, moves in general do random damage. Sometimes, you, if you jump in with Honda, with Roundhouse or whatever, sometimes it'll do 2%, and sometimes it'll do 30%. Try it. This is random damage. I don't know. Yeah. I just, I don't know. That was just something, you know, that, you know, piqued my interest, and, you know, it was just kind of like... How how can you have no visible life and block three fireballs and still be alive? I, I personally never never witnessed that. When somebody has no energy and they block fireball, I mean I, I didn't experience anything like that until TVA too. Well, I'm, I'm gonna load up Goop Vision now and take a look. I I've definitely seen it. I've seen it you know at least half dozen times. I mean that that CE stream has been up for. You know, as far as we know, like maybe like a week and a half or something like that. And uh, I've I've seen you know at least yeah, at least a half dozen times, probably more, where somebody has that missing pixel, as you call it, and yeah. uh, they've they've blocked you know numerous attacks that do chip damage, and haven't died from it. And I'm just like, what the fuck? Maybe we're gonna see it again here because right now there's a Ryu versus Ryu matchup. Oh wait, never mind. It's computer Ryu against Ryu. Uh, never mind. Hey, I'm gonna hit you guys later, dude. I got to my destination. <laughs> hey, bye. All right. Oh, I guess you didn't hear you. No, I thought you. I know it's a little loud. Apoc, when are you breaking out the cam again, man? <laughs> I don't know. I'm too old for that stuff. You need to be like rock color on that. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Apoc, I was just a puzzle fighter. I, I haven't played him. I know he he won a US tournament. I think back in uh, yeah, but 2004 I heard, or something like that. Yeah, I I heard from a guy in New York that he's not all that great. Well, I I there wasn't that many people there when he won, and I couldn't imagine him uh, uh, being that great without a certain knowledge of the game. But I mean, he was just an all-around good player, so he might yeah. not be great, but I'm I'm sure he's good. I mean, what kind of competition is he going to have in 2006, anyway, or 2005, you know? Well, uh, apparently a, a few people in New York... Oh, a few, few people, people in New York, York still play. Yeah. Hmm. And hey, apparently... Link works, by the way. Yeah. Oh, what link? That, uh, Acho 03 link? Oh, uh, the, it's, it's an ASX file. You have to um, copy and paste into Windows Media Player. Are you on the channel, Apoc? Yeah. What? I was wondering if Apoc was in the channel, because I just didn't see his username. Yeah, he's here. Oh, is he? Alright. Yeah. we got to play some Puzzle Fighter sometime. Who's Apoc Flip, by the way? It's the, the guy with the American flag on Skype. Uh, that's Jesse. Oh. Which Jesse? Um, NFC Jesse? Cali guy, uh, um, the model. Model. The model. He looks like a model. Okay, we've got some two-player action in uh, Goop Vision now. Yeah, we got Ryan and Ken. Yeah. 
Ryu player is... Yeah, he's better. <laughs> Here, here's another question that... For, here's another question for APOC that I don't, I don't know how much you know about uh, Champion Edition, but it seems that was my like... First game. Uh, huh? That was my first game. I, I, know, I don't know. Okay. Right? So it, it seems like, you know, watching that uh, the Korean Champion Edition stream, even though people are doing blatant uh, needies, like for jumping, like after they sweep somebody or something like that, they'll jump in with, uh, a, you know, a short that has, you know, hitting frames until you land or it hits. Oh, you're it, talking it about seems, the, the free jumping. Yeah, it seems like nobody tries to reverse it. It's not even. It's not a cross up. You can yeah. tell that it's it's gonna hit meaty, and people have that people have dragon punches. You know, a Ken or a Ryu or a Guile that has you know an easy reversal move or something like that. It, it seems nobody tries. Uh, I was just you know, like you were saying, you know, the free jumpings. What's you know, what's the deal with that? Um, it. Well, I can try to explain it. It's just, uh, well, okay. When, uh, there's like some, some weird frame where everything takes, you know, nothing's instant. Even Dragon Punch takes, you know, four frames to come out. And when you have the perfect setup for the jump in, um, if you try to uppercut, you're going to get hit. And, uh, or, I mean, if you try to uppercut and miss, you get hit. If your uppercut comes out, I'm already in landing. I'm already, already landed, so I get the block. Like oh. Jumping. Okay, so even even though that character um, has you know the immutability of their uppercut, it takes the three or four frames to come out, and you know, for the hitting, so yeah, for the hitting frames to actually be active. So even if you do time it perfectly, that you'll you know you go through my jump in, I'll I'll be landing, and your thing it'll it'll just whiff. Yeah, yeah. Well, it, it won't whiff. Well, but I'll no, be it, won't, it won't. It won't whiff. You'll 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 hit them. Yeah. Well, I don't know if it's a if it's a glitch or not, because actually, you know, like dragon punches and stuff, they hit on the first frame. They're just invincible for like four frames. They're okay. They're they are actually instant frame moves, but you know, it's kind of like a, a a thing I do at Vega that nobody seems to do anymore. I was screwing around at Eva with you know, there's like a, a frame in his claw roll that I use a lot that you cannot Sina, dragon punch. I, w- I want to interrupt you again for a second. Uh, just talking about that invisible pixel. Um, this Ryu right here, he just had zero life, you know, that, you know, that standard, uh, you know, Street Fighter 2, you're down to the bottom of the thing, and he ate a fireball from Ken, but he was still alive. Even if it was a jab fireball, he was down to a completely red life. So even if he was at that missing pixel and he ate a fireball, how how does it do, like, zero damage? I mean, you well, can address maybe that. Maybe the cap quality sucks, and you're, there's actually a yellow pixel you can't see. That's possible, but it just, I don't know. It just baffles me sometimes the shit that I that the things that I see. And it's just oh yeah, like I just it, saw a Dragon Punch do two percent. <laughs> I don't know. It's it's random CE bullshit, I guess, because fucking you can get a random random low damage, forward, random or even just a random low forward into a dizzy. Hey, guess what? You're dead. Oh, computer Honda, let's go. But uh. So what? So what were you talking about before APOC? I'm sorry. No, I just there's a lot of things that I see. I'm I'm probably not a typical gamer. You know, I don't I don't dive into it. I don't look for the crazy pirate combos. And, hell, I don't even know my stage music or or my characters colors really. I just play the game, so I'll just notice I consider it to be an anomaly. And those jumpings are kind of like that. I know there's a way to explain it. I've heard it explained before, but. I can't explain it better. It's best to just learn the setup that you know works, and just right. you know stick with what works. You know what works in in competition is what counts. But like uh, I can't explain uh, this thing I do with Vega. I'll do a roll and I'll time it to where it's hitting on the final frame. And even the guy using a, a reversible uppercut or any character, Vega will be invincible. So the uppercut will tell and Vega gets a free combo or whatever. I can't explain that at all. I've seen that anniversary edition guide. And it shows all the frames, and there's not one invincible frame at the end of his thing. It's like some, I used to think maybe the uppercut's going past him, but uh-uh. <laughs> well, I don't think, I don't think, um, I don't think that guide is necessarily 100% accurate either. Well, no, um, but like I said, they, the Japanese would have known about that by now. I mean, this is something right. that's happened on, you know, this is over a decade old. I mean, I don't see anybody using it nowadays. I mean, if anybody's listening and they play Vega, they better use it. It's just too good, you know? 
Oh, there's a the jumping shadow. shadow. Yeah, that's, I mean, it, it just happened right now. This Ken, you know, he, he floored Ryu from, you know, half screen away. He walked forward, you know, like what would be a, a CVS2 dash distance. He walked forward that much and just jumped in. And it was a blatant, it was blatant not going to be a cross-up. It wasn't, you know, you can tell it was going to hit meaty in front of him, and he and Ryu, you know, he could have seen that he had enough time to react, but he didn't try to Dragon Punch it, and it's just and like... He, he has enough reaction to uh, Dragon Punch a jump in. Yeah, and it's just kind of like, I don't know, I, I think that's kind of stupid. I mean, maybe that's why nobody plays CE anymore. Well, there's <laughs> lots of reasons not to play CE. Yeah. <laughs> Hyper fighting on CE. And people are just going to sit here and throw fireballs. Yeah. What's wrong? Hadouken. Okay, Hadouken. Don't know what's wrong with CE anyway. CE's just busted. Hyper is so much better. Busted in what way? Oh, well, number one, there's that Bison Homo. Number yeah. two, there's uh, Sagat Unblockables. Uh, let's see what else. Um, lots of re-disease. Uh, let's see. Oh, wait, Balrog sucks in Champion. Uh, um, that easy free jump in thing that we have all, you know, at least I've seen. Well, that might be in hyper fighting too, still. So. Uh, Ryu has a uh, roll cancel hurricane, which of course he has in hyper. Oh, Hello? Hello? Everybody on Skype? Yep, it crashed. Hyenas? What? No, oh, it's, you know, it's just me. Oh. Oh, what happened? Mm, Skype crashed. Ah, fucking Skype. Oh, you're you're echoing. What about now? Yeah, I hear right, you're good. You're good. All right, there we go. Okay, let's just watch some gooks play. Man, I don't. I mean, Jesse's Jesse's saying now there's free jump-ins in CVS2 and Alpha 3. But maybe, maybe jump in activate with a groove in CVS too. Yeah. But I, I mean, I don't, I don't know a lot about CVS too. But I mean, <laughs> <coughs> someone, someone's he's dying. Don't mind me. <laughs> yeah. I just have pneumonia. Jay, uh, Jay, you there? Yeah. What's up, guys? I don't know what happened. The phone just got cut off. Oh, Skype crashed on me. Oh, okay. That's what went down. No, by hey, the so way, I did not what? confuse you with Jason Nelson. I just put APOC Jason Nelson in a topic. So, I don't I don't think you're Jason Nelson. No. <laughs> well, Nelson's a buster right now. I don't know what's up with him right now. He's going to holler at me by now. Sorry about that, guys. No, I think Bunkai crashed Skype. <laughs> I'm gonna grab my 40 and let him let him just go. <laughs> oh no! I didn't hear that one. I heard one that he was just going off, and I, I never I never got to hear that. For, <coughs> so. Oh, Jinrai. Sorry. I'm I'm catch. I'm, I live like 4,000 miles from you, and I'm catching that shit, Christ. Hey, pneumonia. Pneumonia is not catching. Oh, I don't want to hear about catching sicknesses. I just got better. You guys got to drink more water. See, look, he, fucking Ryu. Ryu had no life, and he just ate a goddamn dragon punch, and he still survived off it. What the hell is that shit? 
He's cute. So, APOC, you say you're going to travel some new thing this year or something? Yep. Yeah, I was, uh, I don't know what we were looking at it this year, and I guess probably because uh, me and Nelson live near each other now. Uh, I have somebody to play with and stuff like that, you know. Makes it a little more interesting. If I, if I was out in the boondocks by myself, I probably would, you know, wait a while, but we got a good practice team going, but we're not too far from Alex and Graham. And, uh, but we're talking about playing all the three. We might pick up another game. Uh, we haven't so got it yet. Are you going to go hit up Alex if he gets that thing off the ground? or? You know what? Um, that's a consideration. I, I definitely want to do that. I've, i got to catch up on some bills and stuff like that, but I definitely want to go down there. I want to see him, Duck, uh, Watts, you know, Cole. Oh, a lot geez. of those guys put down there. Maybe hook up with a with uh, Schaefer and Tomo and tell them to get their egos out of their butt. <laughs> nice. The only, want, the only reason they don't want to come back is because they're afraid they can't live up to the budget. That's guaranteed. I know. No. I, know, I know Jeff pretty well. I don't think it would be a problem. Gee versus Ken. I don't know. I, I, I'd love to have Tomo and, and Schaefer back against the uh, Japanese. Do a nice, you know, the tournament. But yeah, uh, me and NK, I were talking about it too. Uh, me and Nelson, probably some other guys from all over just taking a random team oh. out alley. Yeah, that'd be sweet. Yeah, I'm still trying to figure out what uh, what he's doing. Uh, what Vi is doing with the site. I mean, is he putting things up every day? or? I, I honestly don't know. The last thing that I understood, because he was on here talking about it, was uh, he's trying to use replay saves and he the USA he's got a USA version or something which kind of screws up the replays. And I think generally okay. said use the Japanese version. That's right. So I I don't know what's up with that. All I know is that the idea he said it was in motion from what I gather and he's just trying to set it up with image. So where it goes he he might be out there tonight, I don't know. He said he was going somewhere so it might have been going out there. But oh, you know man. I'm pretty much in the same boat as everybody else. I'm just waiting to see what it all happens. He's got a thread going on SRK. You know, he, he's calling into the radio show, giving us updates. Well, because uh, we have a friend out here, um, Rob UNR, that says he can do the same thing. We're just, we're older, we're lazy. We go to work, we hang out, you know. <laughs> There's no tournaments right. or whatever, we're not, you know. But, uh, but we're... Are you still in Vegas or are you in Cali now? Oh, no, I'm, uh, I'm north of Vegas. Okay. I'm uh, in Reno area. All right, all right. Reno, the biggest little city in the world. I need to see some uh, Kenny Child match videos. Oh man, yeah, I gotta get in touch with him. He's, are you talking about uh, Puzzle Fighter? I know. I have to. S he's supposed to be the god of Puzzle Fighter. I want to see him play. Oh yeah, I haven't I haven't seen him in a uh, play in a while, but yeah, he was definitely. I mean, I, I wasn't even the best at, in Vegas at one point. We had that tournament in '98. And uh, this guy, uh, Vince, uh, Asian dude from Vegas, won. And I got second, and, and he got third after I whooped him on the comeback. <laughs> that was, it was funny. Uh, I remember back then a lot of the the California players were saying it was random. We were saying, no, you know, and they talked about the diamond trick. And I'm like, no, that's, you know, it's like Supers and Street Fighters. You've got to watch the right timing. And yep. I think we showed at that point that Puzzle Fighter wasn't a random game at all because the people that were supposed to win won. Matter of fact, my girl at the time got fourth. I mean, beating all the Cali players too, you know. So Vegas. Was I, I got a theory a question for you. Huh. If we were to ban Ken, what would the game be like? Ban Ken? Yeah. Um. Because I'm thinking it would be like I, it would I, become I still four think characters. It'd be a, a good game. Yeah. So then, why don't yeah, people I don't, ban? I don't, I don't think. Why don't Ken, they ban Ken? Well, people people think the game's just Ken Ken, but there's, I mean, I've beaten people with Dan. It, it all it all depends on uh, the drop pattern, the power. Certain people, certain characters have certain colors that that drop more. I think Ken uh, is just. I, I I actually like playing against Ken because if I encourage him to break anything little, they're gonna build me a, you know, big ass gem. 
And I've seen uh, I've seen people do good with Ryu, where I would say he's one of the worst in the game. You know, you clear up your middle with one bomb. So I I don't think that game was completely broken down, but I don't think Ken Ken ruins the game. I think he keeps you from having to think about a lot of things. He makes it he makes well. it easier. But I mean, I've seen some people rape with characters like Sienko, Felicia. Uh, you know, everybody has some I mean, secrets. I use low tier, but uh, it just if I beat someone with Chun Li, it just tells me the other guy sucks. You know. Well, you can look at it that way, or, I mean, it depends if you know how you're beating them, if you realize that you have something that you haven't figured out. You know, certain characters, you know, have different abilities on certain chains and things like that, you know? And, uh, you know, so well, I, I, I mean, I, I've, I've seen some games where I just couldn't figure out what was going on, you know, because, you know, this is years later and I hadn't been playing, and, you know, there's characters that are winning, and I'm like, how's he dropping so much? And I'm looking... And I gotta analyze it for a second. I'm like, wait, every time this guy drops, he's dropping three chains, and he's dropping more. Like, like it's exponentially greater as long as you keep dropping the same amount of chain. I, I forgot what it was, but different characters have different attributes that we don't know about unless there's most of it. Yeah, well, the way the way it seems, Chun just can't win unless the guy sucks. I mean, uh, even a mediocre Ken should never, ever, ever lose to Chun. Well, I, I don't know about that. I mean, you can lose the game, you know. Are we like talking about Third Strike? Right? <laughs> no, we're talking about Puzzle Fighter. Oh, yeah, see, so we're talking about the game where Chun Li sucks. <laughs> there's, Wait, there's a game well, where Chun Li sucks. I don't know if she. I mean, she she only drops large gems when it's in a pattern, and yeah, she she definitely gives you the ammunition back. But just like any character, if you're fast enough and you make sure your first attack kills, she's still gonna win. I mean, I, I've won with Chun. It's just that I think that she's a piece of shit. Well, I'd say yeah. she's obviously not as good as Ken, but if your strategy is to make your first your first attack to kill, mm -hmm. you can still, you know, you can do that just like anybody. I mean, I don't know. I, I don't yeah. think I don't think Ken's the only character in the game. In fact, uh, we defeated that Donovan was the best in the game. You know, when we played right. Vegas. Maybe I'm um, a little bitter, but it seems like Ken to me is like Super Turbo Akuma. Oh no way! No, I, I can't agree with you there. Sorry about that. No, I, no, no, not at all. I mean, it, you see, Akuma on FT is so simplistic. Like uh, you can you can pretty much throw air fireballs, ground fireballs all day yeah. against most characters. You know, you're just repeating something. You don't you're not really reacting to anything because the opponent can't really I gotta, get around. Can I interrupt for a second? That's totally different. Um, maybe yeah. for for um, ST, you know, I mean for Zangief in these Street Fighter Two games, if you block his low shorts, is, is that power driver guaranteed? On uh, on which one? Um, well, let's say let's let's say Super Turbo since that'd be the game that 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 um, most people play in the Street Fighter Two generation. I don't I don't think it's guaranteed, but. I mean, the advantage, I think, would be on, on each side. I mean, I, the best Zangief players I've seen, if, if you touch, if they touch you with a short, you're going for a ride. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Just don't get touched by the short. You know? And, and what happens if you do reverse blow up a pick and they didn't try to I'll drive you? Mm. Now, you're, now you're getting dizzy. He's going to jump over you, cross up, jab, jab, short, roundhouse, dizzy, and then they're going to kill you. You know, kind of like Bison. You know, you can try to uppercut his trap, but they're watching for you. The advantage is definitely he favors just to test you, sure. So I, I don't know. The best, the best players I see. I mean, you saw Cooney like a couple years ago, and every time he made a block of jumping, they were going for a ride. Mm -hmm. These weren't characters without reversals, you know. Mm -hmm. The guy. I mean, so yeah, you, technically you can, but I mean, the bird, the burden of timing is on is on the defensive side, so. Yeah, it's, it's possible, but it could, you know, just getting out of it doesn't mean you're safe. You could eat mm. it anyway. I don't know if that answers your question. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, yeah, he's, I mean, I'm just watching, just watching this dude, uh, with Zangief just blow, bro, you know, bro, just killing everybody in the past. He's like, you block a short poop, you're going for a ride. Well, like, uh, like an old school tick I remember way back in the day from, uh, Cooney, we're talking like, maybe 1992 or something. Uh, Cooney, I first saw him do the low roundhouse kick. 
don't know if you've ever seen it, but if somebody blocks the little roundhouse on a wake up, the opponent flies back. And then Zangief just sucks him right back in, like right out of block them. I've never seen that reversal. Once they block the roundhouse, I've never seen it. Yeah, got it. So if you block a roundhouse wake upon wake up, oh, you screw. You know, if the if Zangief's right on top of you and you don't reversal the roundhouse, if you block the roundhouse, I've never seen it reverse the cause of a reverse after the roundhouse. I'm not saying it's impossible. So technically it's possible, but I've never seen it. Not once. I mean, I do it all the time. I'll pick Geef, and mm -hmm. if you can't uppercut my roundhouse, then you're going for a ride every time. I get you in the corner, I'm just going to keep doing it. So I'd say that's a much better pick than the standing short anyway. Mm -hmm. Or, or uh, I haven't seen anybody reverse a lot of uh, Zangief 720 either. Oh, yeah, that's true. i never seen that either. The early jumping knees right into it. I've never seen anybody get out of that. I think there definitely are irreversible picks, um, but irreversible to me means, you know, you're, you're not going to reverse it, you know, two out of ten times. Everything's reversible, I think, but unless the glitch. I think it was intended to be reversible. At least that was my attitude on old school. If you're trying to throw me, that means I can throw you, so if you want to take the risk, go ahead. You know? <laughs> hmm. So, so uh, can you explain to me why he's playing? I, I hear, like, with Dan talking about going down there, playing TBS2. He should be playing some Marvel, damn it, but uh, you get a TBS2, too. So I'm just saying. Well, he's playing all the games. He's going to be capturing all the games but Marvel. Because he feels that Marvel has enough of a community where he wouldn't think that would be necessary. Um, he, what, he, he tried, like they were telling you, he tried to do it uh, through the, uh, the replay, and he had problems with it. So he's just going to bring a camcorder, and he's going to cap it that way. And um, and then he'll upload them to YouTube. Um, but well, if he, that, that's good. He'll get crowd noise. Yeah, you know we'll be able. To, see, that's the thing that kind of worries me. If he does a direct feed, then we won't we won't be able to hear what was being said. Um, one of the, that's why I like the idea of streaming, maybe streaming the video, and streaming the radio at the same time. So you oh, can yeah, watch. While he's on the phone, you know, while while he's on the station, and I mean, we can we can just have you know, third strike night, you know, watch Alex Valle versus whoever whoever, or and watch him. Well, you know. What about the lag? Well, I mean, the the lag. It actually, if anything, I don't think it'll be so bad. You hear sports commentators, and they you know, after somebody gets hit, then they comment on it. You know, what I mean is that the, the audio won't sync, uh, sync with the video. I mean, if oh, it's yeah. out of it, sync, it if it's seriously out of sync, um, then, uh, and then you know, then that will be a problem. Um, but if it's only like I'm a little so bit sure. out of sync, then I still think it's right. I mean, it's better than nothing at all. Plus, there's well, nothing plus saying that he can't stop the valuable. game and just start talking. You know. Well, no, you want to hear, you know, the casual. The casual chat, you want to hear people talking shit and things like that. You can talk about the psychology of it. You'll see certain players want shit to talk and start. They'll talk shit while they're playing and win, and then you'll see some people that will just crumble. You know, and people can see how even good players, you know, even great players don't play their best under every circumstance. Mm -hmm. You know, little things, little nuances can affect your your mentality. You mm -hmm. go defensive. I mean, I've seen Vi play some games, and as a player, Vi, you know, he's always great to watch. But I've seen some games where I'm like. He's not by a plan. <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like his mind's just not in it. You can tell. Mm -hmm. I think it, you know, I think players would want to hear the psychology, you know, see how people get broken just by shit talking, you know, shit that happens off the game, how it affects the game itself. I mean, I don't know. That's American style play to me. Mm -hmm. I mean when the OGs, you know, talk, I mean we have respect but when it comes to the game, we're we're talking about whooping each other bad. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Right, right. It's not meant to be taken humble. seriously. Right. It's just there's too much respect nowadays. You should have heard the shit talk that used to go on back in, whoa, back in the day. I mean, it was serious. Now it's like, you know, all in fun or whatever. But before, you know, shit talk would be so bad. You have one person getting scared they're going to get beat down outside and stuff, and all of a sudden they can't play. You know what I mean? <laughs> that's why That's why the, the, the NFL will never, like, bar Terrell Owens from playing. Because, you know, you can bet that when he goes back to Philadelphia to play against the Eagles, if he's, you know, he's really? from his... Huh? 
nothing. That's my hometown, or that's my first town. So. Yeah, I was like, I was saying, even though that um, <laughs> even though he's broken his finger, I think he's going to try to make it back for that Philadelphia game, Dallas at Philadelphia, because you know there's some bad blood there. So I mean, I mean, that, I mean, it just makes for great ratings. So I mean, you you oh, need yeah, you need you need rivalries, you need controversies, you need. You know, and to an extent, you need shit talking. So you know, keep people. That's what I was trying to explain well, before. Now you hear people like Tomo and Schaefer talk about we won't have any of this disrespect and blah blah blah. And I'm thinking, you know, that's ego. I tell you what, Schaefer used to be one of the biggest shit talkers ever. You know, I'm I don't know if you've heard stories, but he would bring in cards, you know, talking shit, but he wouldn't have to say anything. Just put it right up on the game. Wear a shirt saying, "Don't bother using the character. I'm gonna eat him for lunch." You know. <laughs> I mean, it was great, though. That's why people love Schaefer. He's bringing a character. Now, you know, there's there's little too much respect. I mean, look, between Duck and Stanford, that's why it was so interesting. It was everything surrounding the match. Yeah. You know, it's not just the match. Yeah, especially when Stanford was on the radio the night a few nights before. Well, it looks uh, like oh, uh, shit talking is still serious business. Hmm? Huh? It looks like shit talking is still serious business because that guy got shot over Marvel, right? Who are you talking about? Come on, Remember Josh. that guy got shot? Shot and killed? Over the game? You were talking about that I'm not months surprised, ago. but I thought that was further in the past. Back on Street Fighter 2, that stuff happened a lot. We'd be at Pac-Man late at night, there'd be shooting, people would step outside over street. Hell, I could, I could point some players out that I've known to go and swab over the dumb game. Matter of fact, <laughs> that's how me and Duck met. He went to Excalibur in uh, Vegas once, and I had played uh, his friend Justin's brother on Old School, Eric Sedley. Uh, great old school player, and uh, attitudes started to fly <laughs> until uh, until we realized we had friends in common. You know, my girl was there, and you know, Doug was getting heated, and and then you know, because we knew each other, who knows what would happen? We might have been apples, you know what I mean? <laughs> but that's how it was back then. So I'm not surprised somebody got shoot, shot over Marvel. <coughs> I never heard about this being shot over Marvel. I never heard that. Uh, either have I, but. I've had a gun pulled on me over the street, like when I first moved to Vegas. So I mean, stuff was. I mean, it's you know, it's it's a it's a fighting game. You know, if you can't win mentally, you know, that might just break you mentally, and you might you know have a temper tantrum. You know, you gotta whoop this fool outside because he's whooping me mentally. You know what I'm saying? It used to be that serious. Now it's like, I don't know, a little too casual, which is why I have been playing seriously. Man, why you guys gotta fight and shit? Take your losses like a man. What are you talking about? It's Street Fighter. Oh no, I feel I feel you there. I feel you there, but the the fighting attitude, the competition attitude, should be there. I think we've lost a lot of that. I, I'd say I'd say this year, uh, you know, a lot of American players brought that competition back. You know, I mean, CBS two had thirteen players. They had two in the in the final eight. Granted, the champ won, but point being. We we showed that the Japanese need to step up if they want to continue to dominate. So there might be some more competitive blood now, hopefully. Well, you know, I was talking to Alex Wolf, and you know, he was um, he was thinking like a five on five in Super Turbo, America, you know, USA I was versus Japan. About that the other day too. Huh? I was thinking we should do a, a ten on ten because they have you know like I guess twenty super top players, and I'm thinking you know why wow, you can get just get some of the old school NorCal. Old school SoCal, and you know, best from the East Coast. Put it all in one team. That way, we have the best team possible versus the best team possible there. And the character diversity will be huge. I mean, look at Anniversary Edition. We had like seven different characters used in the finals. Right. Um. Yeah. I guess that would, would be. You know, that would be a ten versus ten. Actually, that Alex was talking about the ten on ten, and he was like, "Oh man, that's you know." He's like, he he didn't he wasn't sure. That will work, you know, but, you know, a 10 versus 10, yeah, I think that will work. I, I'd buy the DVD just for that alone, <laughs> you know, and have it, like, semi I second that. every year. You know, that way the bragging rights hold for a couple of years and for a little more heated on the return because they know they got to hold the, the title for a couple of years. I don't know, just just suggestions. Just suggestions. I, I miss those 5 on 5. Oh, if you if you were to if you were to make a list of the ten people that have been competing, who would you put on that list? Ooh, on 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 old school. Like like ST, yeah. Oh shoot. I'm, I'm probably gonna leave somebody out or insult somebody. Uh, so no offense. Um, uh, John Choi. 
uh, Alex Wolf, Graham Wolf, uh, Alex Valle, uh, JC Nelson, Cole. Um, gosh, it's, it's, it's so hard to, to list these because like all these great players are coming into my head. Um, I'm gonna throw myself in there because I got an ego anyway. Um, shoot. I think you got seven so far. Yeah. Um, East Coast is a, is a rough one. I'm trying to see who represents the East Coast. Um, but that's a hard call. After well, if, if, we're playing, if we're playing Super Turbo and not AE, do you think Justin's uh, O Saget is good enough no. to be on that team? No. Um, no. No offense to Justin. I mean, if anybody knows me, they know I think he's a great player, you know. Oh, I don't take anything from him, but but old Sagat, yeah. he just, I mean, maybe if we played as a team, sure. Not that he doesn't have the ability. I just don't think he understands the match. Like like the way uh, Cooney just raped him with Zangi. That's a match Zangi shouldn't even touch him. He's perfecting him. That's not because Justin's not as good of a player, because he just doesn't know what's going on. If, once you get past his fireballs and, you know, if you know the match well, well. Justin will be confused because he doesn't know the match. He knows how to play the guy. You feel me? Right. So when you're playing against experts, I mean, Cooney's not, he doesn't even consider himself the best Zanke, and he's purposing a counter match because Justin doesn't know how to use the standing forward. You know what I'm saying? Mm hmm. So I couldn't put Justin there just for a lack of knowledge and experience, not, not for, I mean, he's definitely good enough. But I don't know if I said Watson, but of course Watson is. No doubt there. If I could, if I could pick, I'd put Schaefer on it too. Schaefer would definitely be on there. Who? Um, I know this is West Coast bias, but that's just uh, history I'm going over. I mean, if you look, except for like last year, the top placings were always West Coast in all old school games. You know, so I'm not trying to be biased. Um, right. No, I understand. That's, that's, that's a good portion. I mean, there's probably like ten players that just didn't pop in my head at the moment. But, uh, now, now, here, here's a question, or you know, a suggestion that's probably, you know, think, I don't know if he's listening right now, but uh, where do you think DSP stands in the whole mix of things? Does he deserve to be considered top ten in the USA? Um, you know, what? I, I would say deserving, sure, just because uh, he won Evo East, that made him the, the East Coast champion on anniversary day. Well, that. That was an AE though. Oh, we're talking about ST. Yeah, if we did, if you did um, the ten on US versus Japan oh. for ST. Yeah, I'm. I'm I mean, by by I tell you, I'm I'm really critical. You know what I'm saying? So right. I, I number one, I don't as much shit as he talks. I don't. No offense to, to Phil, but I don't see him having the the true confidence to handle it. And I really, I don't think he has a, uh, he has enough knowledge. I mean, PlayStation placing, I don't know, because I've seen all the tournaments after that, and he's been able, unable to reproduce any effects like that. I played him, I played him at Evo, and um, even against Champion Edition Bison, I, I wasn't having any trouble. You know, I mean, there's a apparently he was talking shit. Nelson, Nelson, and uh, I've heard him talking shit. So, you know, like, he could beat me, you know, for money. So I went over there and I told him, you know, whatever amount you want, I'll tell you my character right away. So you can counter me, do whatever you want, say champ, champ ice and whatever character. And he decided to say he wasn't talking shit when two guys after were saying, dude, he just... And I'm like, well, hey, you can put your money, <laughs> put your money where your mouth is. And he didn't want to. So I think if he doesn't have confidence against me, then he'd be too mentally broken versus the Japanese. Right. You know, nah, because I mean, you know, we all know that his uh, his big accomplishment was at uh, Evolution last year when he got fourth place in an ST tournament, and you know, he he was like, okay, I'm you know I'm fucking god now, and uh, I think you know I think a lot of it you know came down to uh, he you know he thought that he knew C E Bison very well, and he was like, okay, if I pick C E Bison throughout the entire tournament, then I should be able to beat anybody because he's ridiculously overpowered or you know whatever. And he was like, I know how to get out of the, uh, you know, the CE Bison trap with another CE Bison, you know. So uh, you know, well, I, th you know, I think one. that's where a lot of his shit talking was coming from because he figured out, 
or he knew how to get out of the trap with, you know, against another CE Bison. He he knew how to get out of it with his own CE Bison, and you know he just felt confident that, you know, well, his CE Bison was you know good enough or cheap enough or whatever, and he could just do you know, you know fucking scissor trap and random cross up psycho crushers. Uh, well, if he if he thought like that, then I definitely wouldn't put him on the team. You know, he if he if he had that type of mentality, he he had no respect for players that played back then. You know, because I mean, you see, Champ Bison didn't it wasn't even in the final. Best character in the game, but apparently not broken because he was whooped by two of our best players. You know, and it took a Japanese player. You know, who missed who missed things too. I don't know. He yeah, you can't. This is old school. You can't just rely on one character unless you are one of, if not the best, with that character. You're going to need a backup. Thing. Right. Yeah. Now you can't. Your confidence should be in yourself, not your character. But that's that's a personal philosophy. <laughs> right. No, I understand. I'm like where I'm character from. winning. You know what I mean? The player should win. That's why. But I don't know. I'm, I think I might lower my pride now because I've been playing long enough. I might just pick top tier to make it easy. But to me, I was <laughs> big character that wasn't overpowered, so I knew it was me winning, you know? That's easy. Right. <laughs> Not the smartest thing to have when you develop a strategy. But no, I did, GSP's ego would get in the way, too. So, I, no offense, maybe maybe next year or something, but I couldn't put him on the team. Is, is, is there a lot of talk going on? I'm just curious why you, why you brought him up. Was it because he's East Coast champion, or...? Uh, no, nah, because, I mean, just because he, he's a name that a lot of people know and he thinks so highly of himself and, you know, I, I live in the same state as him and, you know, I've, oh, you know, yeah. I, I know him in person and, uh, and his online persona. So I was, you know, I was just curious as you, somebody who, you know, actually has, you know, a ground to stand on and actually has a soapbox to stand on to talk about things like this other than, you know, Phil who got fourth place at one tournament at one time and he won... He won uh, ECC. He won ECC Super Turbo last year or some shit. I, I can't remember when the last time he actually won a ST tournament was. Well, I but, mean, Evo Evo is no small accomplishment. I mean, I give him all the respect for that. But um, you know, Byer will tell you consistency is the name of the game. You know, and right. Byer is somebody that could probably say anything. You know, uh, DSP jumped the gun. If he did it two years in a row, or you know, he even plays top five two years in a row, or if he showed that he... Now, because, see, I saw DSP against Alex, against Graham, myself, uh, Cole, um, and, and I mean, he did pretty good, but I wouldn't... I would say the, the difference in the levels was, was clearly drawn. You know, I mean, it seems mm -hmm. like he usually talks his shit and backs it up, but I didn't, you know, I didn't do crap at Evo, and he didn't want to play me for money after talking talk to Smack, so I'm thinking... Right. He knows where he sits. You know what I mean. Mm -hmm. So I, I don't. I don't even think he put himself on the team at the moment. Yeah, I think that whole post about Takido was kind of get his uh, his competitive juice flowing, uh, spur himself on. Right. Well, I mean that's just uh, you know just what I've heard from him in person and things that you know I've seen him say online and. I'm sure he's going to get wind of this somehow or whatever like that because he always does. And, and I mean, we talk shit to each other and everything like that, but we're pretty cool, you know, off the Internet and everything. But Well, don't underestimate hurting his ego. You know, if he hears this and his ego's hurt or whatever, he might come back with vengeance. Yeah. I mean, I, I just <laughs> I just think it's funny because, you know, I, I can go over there and play the game and still, still, still get – I can go over to his house. I don't play ST or AE. Um, and, you know, I don't know a whole lot about the game, but I can, I can still get my fucking random wins. I don't do any combos or anything like that. I can still, I can still get my wins fucking with, you know, random, random okay. cross up forward, fucking sweep and, you know, tick throws and stuff like that. And, you know, yeah. and it's just, it's just like, you know, I, I thought he's supposed to be really, you know, somebody who got fourth place in ST at evolution one year, you know, should be able to scrape the floor, scrape the floor with somebody who doesn't really play the game whatsoever. Uh, yeah, I'd agree. I'd agree. And, but I can, you know, even in AE, where, you know, it's it's not the not the best game or whatever like that, but, you know, even if we're playing, uh, you know, fucking Dreamcast Super Turbo or whatever, like, you know, he'll play he'll play any version of any game. He just likes to play fighting games, and I'm kind of the same way, even though I'm more of a casual player, but at the same time, you know, somebody who, even even if, 
you know, were playing not the arcade perfect port of it, you know, he, he should know enough about the game where, you know, he should be able to scrape the floor with me. Because I don't, I, I play that game, like, once every other month or some shit like that. Super Turbo or AE. You know, I play it, like, once every other month. And I, if, I, I should not be able to get any wins whatsoever against a guy. But I can, I can still, you know, get my random, not, I won't say random wins, but, you know, I, you know, I'll, I'll pull, you know, you know 60-30 or something like that. Wow, that, that. That high of a percentage against him? Hmm. Maybe that, maybe not that high. Maybe like eighty twenty, or or sixty forty. Well, you got to realize also, you know, who you play can determine your level. You know, I could play a scrub and play like shit. If I know I'm playing a, you know, a player like Nelson or something like that, I'm gonna play different. You know. Mhm. So maybe since uh, since that's not your game or whatever, he's uh, he's practicing with you, but he's not. Looking at it like it means anything, so his heart's not fully in it. I'm yeah, no, nah, I, I don't, don't think he's uh, to that level where he tones where he tones things down based on his opponent's skill level. Oh, uh, uh, Dream Theater and and Shirt, by the way. Oh, wait, hold on, guys. Uh, now he's on the other line. I want to play some more Tetanet. There's some mini put. Maybe I'll just go play curveball. You know, I actually found out today that I can actually play curveball better with my left hand than my right hand. And I'm what are you ambidextrous? Uh, I was. It's it's I write with my right hand, but uh, I do pretty much everything else with my left hand. I'm pretty sure I was meant to be left-handed, but I went to a Catholic school, um, from like kindergarten up until seventh grade, and they pretty much said writing with your right hand is or writing with your left hand is a devil. <laughs> so, so I kind of I kind of had to learn. So right with my right hand, and it was oh, it was just strange today. Like I was I was smoking a cigarette, and I was like, okay, I want to play curveball, and give my right hand a rest. And I started playing with my left hand, and I fucking was doing so much better with my left hand. So which hand do you jack with now? Um, I'm not gonna get into those details. Okay, how about this? Uh, APOC, how's your computer connection? Internet connection? I think he I switched think over on the other line for a second there, Jinra. Yeah, what? he said Valle was on the other line. Yeah, he switched over. Oh, uh, Apox not on anymore? No, no, he's still, he's still on. He just had to switch lines because I think he's talking Valle or Valle. Uh. He'll be back. Yeah, because I'll God. see if he's willing to play Kylera, Puzzle Fighter. Oh. Probably not. You never know. Is Bunk still awake? <laughs> Maybe he's drinking. Oh, God. Well, he's not talking, so I hope he didn't fall asleep. I don't know. It's only it's only quarter to ten over there. He might have went to get something to eat. Yeah, he's uh, going to... Uh, what, what was that place he went to in his... In his no, he he went naked. Jack Where'd in the box. Go? Yeah, Jack in the box. He went he went over to Jack in the box. And his fucking trousers. <laughs> Let's not speculate. <laughs> He's jacking in his box. Ooh. Um. Man, you can't say anything on SRK anymore or IRC. Hey guys. Welcome back. Hello. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> All people do is fucking twist your words around. <coughs> You're dying, dude. Jinry, when did you pick this up? Yeah, probably the elementary uh, school I was teaching at. He got it. He got it from one of those kids. Fucking, that's that's what you get. I mean, I know that you post those links on IRC and it's all like a joke and everything like that, but 
that fucking kitty lolly porn shit. It'll fucking catch up to you, especially if you're making out with your students. <laughs> oh, God, have mercy. Yeah, this is the randomness we have, a Park. <laughs> uh, what? No, that was Nelson. Oh, he's too, he's too messed up. Oh. To call him. No. Did you hear me? Yeah. Alright, yeah, he's, uh, he's looked out of his mind, had to have a girl pick him up, so. <laughs> nice. I don't know if you want to talk to him online right now. Anyway, that'd be funny. Pick up the phone and call them. Oh, bullshit. <laughs> yeah, like, I don't know. Oh, no, I'm talking to myself, sorry. Yeah, like is this Apoc or Valle? This is Apoc still, man. Oh, yeah, cool. Apoc, uh, how's your internet connection? Uh, it's alright. Yeah, it's you want to play online, Puzzle now. Fighter? Uh, I don't have any sticks or anything. I don't even own a console. Like I told you, I'm... I'm no, like, I mean, all you see is wrong. And the emulator. Yeah, but don't I have to use, like, keyboard and stuff like that? And what oh, about that? I use keyboard. It's just been two buttons and directions. Well, now it's still some stuff on my keyboard. I don't know if it's something crazy, but I have some buttons. But, um, I had to work in the morning. Not tonight, but yeah, definitely, uh, if you can set me up on it. Yeah, I can give you the ROM, and I'll link it to the emulator. All right, um, shoot, I guess, uh, are, are you in the tunnel right now? I'm messaging you my email. Yeah, I'm on, I'm on. He's there right now. Though is, um, there might be a little bit of lag, so you'd have to get used to that. Yeah, all these fucking stipulations coming out now. There might be some lag. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna use a programmable pad. I get a semi-recoverable life bar. Whatever. You know, fucking bunk eye shit. Whatever. <laughs> oh, that's cold. <laughs> Actually, Apoc, really, if you want it, I could DCC it to much. you. Yeah, lag um, doesn't affect puzzle. Yeah, go ahead. Much. Go ahead. That way, I can. No, I, I'm looking for it. I'm looking for it. No, I have it, Jen. I could DCC it. Trust me. It'll take five no, seconds. Okay, fine, fine, I'll be lazy. Okay, no, no, I'm not I'm telling you to be lazy. I'm just saying I, I'm way ahead of you on this. Hey, go I ahead. took it. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. I can't yeah. uh, talk much longer. I gotta, gotta work Give out. Give me too. For uh, I get up to work in the morning. So uh, yeah, are you messing yeah, with me now? Uh, yeah. Oh, there it is. Practice playing online a bit. I think I still have a. <laughs> I think you sent me a Cowboy View of episode one, and I think I still have it on my hard drive. Who me? No, it's potion. I might have. Oh, yeah. yeah, we're talking like two years ago. Oh yeah, this is mad old. <laughs> That's what I was saying. It's like I still have your video. I have the, still have the tape of your 15 streak of frog. <laughs> Where, where's that from? I got that on a VHS from someone. Oh, you don't you don't know what tournament or anything like that? No, no. I think it was just random Vegas from Cat Play, man. Random Vegas? Yeah, you were playing. It was like, um, oh. I gotta dig it out. But you were playing. You were playing against like Gan or somebody. Yeah. I never heard of this video. <laughs> I'll, I'll find it and I'll let you know. You were playing crazy. you were playing Barlow. You were playing you had like fifteen streak on someone and I don't it was in Vegas or somewhere, but I think it was Vegas when you just moved out there or something. If I can find oh, the video good. I'll let you know, but like I have it on VHS or someone in the house. Yeah, I'd definitely like to take that out. I'm getting old, you know, posterity and all. <laughs> oh yeah. No, I couldn't have been when I first moved to Vegas. So I first moved to Vegas in '93, and then moved back again in '95, and was there for like a decade. It might have been during. It, it was. It was like around 2000 or something. I know that this is like. It was like a couple years old. 2000. That's six years ago. Um, I'll f I'll find it. I'll let you know. Old it is. Is. If, I'm, if I'm using X Balrog, it's really old. If I'm using A Balrog, then probably within the last five years. Oh my it's god. It's either X or A because I know you're playing Rog. I don't even know where this video came from. Vegas, huh? That's strange. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'll, tr I'll try to find it. It's got like a bunch of old, like, random video. Like, I don't remember who sent it to me. Okay, this is 
must be because I have other programs open. You're going so slow. Hold on. Yeah, I'm on. A, I'm not downloading anything. So it might be you if you're downloading like a torrent or something. Oh, I'm downloading like 20 things I want to. Um, yeah, that's probably it. <laughs> there we go. Boom! You can't max me out. Try it. Oh, <laughs> uh, there we go. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> right on. Oh man. But yeah, I'll try to find that for you. Started. If you. Yeah, I mean, I'll I'll pay you to send it. I'd love to have it for my collection. Uh, that, that's why I got it. I want some stuff from my library too. I don't have much. Dude, Rob UNR has like the biggest library. He has like a thousand CDs. Oh seriously? For, I, I, yeah, I can't. I can't imagine owning that many videos. Who's gonna watch that much? <laughs> you know. That's why I, love I should YouTube. get it. I should board. I should get yeah, some. It's just like some random day. What? Echo, echo. There you go. But some, uh, some like random day. Uh. Hold on. Okay, never mind. Um, no, like some random day he's just like gonna go through his fucking, uh, like through his videos and shit like that and be like, yeah, I'm gonna watch this uh, Alpha 3 tournament from Japan in fucking 1999 and watch this one particular match because, you know, for some like random reason, why do you, why do you need that many fucking videos, you know, I, I'm on the same standpoint. No, I mean, I, I do, you know, when I collect videos, it's because, you know, something special happened, you know, or, or you know, you know friends I grew up playing with or something like that, you know what I mean? I don't know. Uh, it's rare when I use any video to study something. I mean, I don't know stuff, but it's more for, like, like a photo album, you know? Different day and age. You know, ten years from now, I could be like, damn. I was playing that. All right, it's totally uh, different. Jesse wants me to give him a call. Hold on for one second. All right. I mean, looking back on tapes and stuff, it's totally different from what it was than it is today. We were f***ing this. It's like that night. You know, even if it's not that long ago, as a matter of fact, uh, I just finally saw, because I, I couldn't get there in time, I finally saw a lot of the finals for ST at, or anniversary at uh, Evo, and I'm with Nelson. And Nelson, like, didn't really remember a lot of stuff that happened. You know? Yeah. <laughs> you're in the game, and then you're out. Who are we calling? Jesse? Hello? Jesse, what's up, man? What's happening, man? Whole, Jesse, are you uh, still playing that low-limit poker? <laughs> no, no, I, I haven't been playing all day, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just messing. I, I just played for a little bit, and then I pushed all in with Jack-Jack and, and got beat by Queen-Jack, and I was like, you know, fuck this, I'm not playing poker for a little while. That's how it is. Yeah, so it's about to get really loud because I'm driving home right now from work. And okay. You know what happened? The damn internet, uh, the, the damn uh, radio show started to get interesting. So I sat around at work listening to it instead of going home like I usually do. Did you get paid? Yeah. <laughs> damn it. So you know what we need to do? Hmm. Uh, let's hijack a real radio station. Maybe like one of those serious satellite radio stations. And Maybe listen to it there so I can listen to it on the way home from work. Maybe we'll get like TSN to hook that up if it goes down. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> Sounds good. Yeah, what what happened with that, Ben? That TSN thing? What's the deal with that? Um, the person was out of town, the, the head honcho. He's in China covering the event. Um, after that, he's off to London, so it's going to be a while before we hear back on that. Oh, uh, okay. The news that we heard was encouraged. Okay, so I thought uh, Kitty was soft banned from uh, the radio. No, I never I, I saw I soft banned myself for like three days. Why did you do that? Didn't you know? I thought you killed the radio for a few days. Because I was an asshole. Ah, okay. Understandable. I know how you get. Yeah, I just gotta... I, I can't drink that hard liquor, man. I get, I turn into a mean motherfucker. Too much vodka? Nah, vodka's... I'm not... Nah, vodka's that light liquor. I'm talking about that hard liquor. I'm talking about Jack and fucking tequila and all that. So I can't drink that and fucking talk to people. I turn into an asshole. 
Oh, oh, understandable. But that's what happens when you get a couple random old guys down at the bar that think I know how to. They think I'm a good pool shooter or whatever like that, so they just buy me shots all night. And oh, good fucking shit. Force force feed me beers and stuff like that, and I get shit faced for free. But I don't know. Yeah, that, that was happening to me in Vegas. That happens all the time. Yeah, that's Vegas Marina for you right there. All right. Well, the background noise on my on my phone's gonna be a little loud, so I'm gonna I'm gonna turn off my speaker and just listen in, or turn off my mic, turn off my mic and just listen in. So you guys you guys just talk it up, but just remember I'm listening, and I know where you all live. And we know that you play jacks so right. all in. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So where were we at? Footage. Uh, yeah, we were just talking about it. <laughs> for watching old full footage, I guess. I mean, I watch, I watch everything. Yeah, I was saying that Nelson just watched his matches, you know, against uh, Alice and whatnot, and he didn't even remember half the stuff that went on. <laughs> you know, because <laughs> you know, when he was there, he didn't. Oh yeah. Game. When he goes home, you know, his mind's not there anymore. All he remembers is who he wins and loses. I mean, honestly, I'm the same way. I, I, I couldn't even tell you who I lost to at Evo. I, you know, I was. If I wasn't paying attention, I wouldn't pay attention. You know, all I know is like go up to screen, I, play game, two rounds, get out. <laughs> if I lose, I'm looking. I'm looking at you know why I lost. I'm not looking at who it was. I don't. You know, it's not gonna matter. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> the face does I not matter. Like, it's who's playing in front of you on the screen, right? Well, yeah. Well, no. It's it, usually me with myself. Like uh, I came late and uh, I had a little argument with a friend of mine that was giving me a ride and when I got there I was uh, I played against uh, this one Japanese Japanese dude playing champ bison and it wasn't that he was good it was that I wasn't using reflex I'm playing Vega and I'm blocking specials when that's not how I play against champ bison I flip kick every single one of his specials to get myself close enough to where he can't touch me you know without right. flip he can't bait me with a, with a jab like a crush or anything I'm going to hit him that's, that's how I was being DSP and stuff. You know, I was playing normally by that point, but right away I was just like, as soon as I blocked the first one, I'm like, what am I doing? You know, it was like, I just wasn't, I warmed up, so I wasn't having confidence in my abilities. I felt like I needed to warm up, so I started blocking traps like a dumbass, and that's all I remember. <laughs> and then so I remember you just right didn't get warmed that, up, is what you're saying? Oh, yeah. Well, you know, like you could see how I was playing right afterwards, you know? Hmm. I mean, Alex, Alex told you, I mean, I was playing, shoot, DSP will tell you. It, it was like, I just wasn't playing yet. So, but I, you know, I was there to visit other people too. So that's one of the reasons I feel like traveling. I'm like, you know, it's been a while since I ran the tournament scene, you know, or like ran the, ran the circuit. So me and Nelson were talking about going to Midwest, Port Bay, maybe UCC, uh, Canadian tournament, you know, just depending on where the funds are at, we were thinking about doing that. I'm definitely down to LA. You know, we have a lot of friends out there. Don't I'm sure if you come up to to like Toronto, it's, uh, you'd have no problem. Oh man, are, are you dissing on, on Toronto? What? Are you are you dissing on Toronto? No, no, no. I'm saying it, it, if you came up to Toronto, you'd have a good time probably. Oh yeah, I love going to new places. I went I went uh, to BC once, and uh, that was a good time. I like it up there in Canada. It's really it's you know, I haven't been all throughout Canada, but the parts that I've been around, the atmosphere is it's relaxing. <laughs> exactly. It's it's much different from from being in a state. But it's almost like going to a park to me. I just the uh, the atmosphere is just so easy. I'm like, wow, I might have to move here one of these days. <laughs> if Let's... I ever settle down, I think I got a good five years before I do that. Right on. But yeah, if, uh, are you guys having any major tournaments? Um, well, I'm like, I don't know if you remember where I am. I'm like East Coast Canada, so like, we it's real small out here. It's like the next like thing is like Toronto would be for like the major like the Nagata runs and stuff. Uh-huh. But like we got like console people who who play like whatever if we just if we get like people to sit down. You know, like we're right on the ocean, and you know, it's, it's real relaxing and stuff. It's, it's nice. And then you got like generally. What are you generally, talking about? What are we talking about? We're talking about APOC traveling. Generally, what are you talking about, man? 
Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. You can't, you can't get the fucking thing. Look, you, you, sh- you should travel places. Because, you know, I don't... Oh, Jordy. Have you ever thought about coming to the West Coast? Who, me? Yeah, Jinrai. What? No, I'm not Jinrai. This is Toshin. Oh, Toshin, eh? Yeah, I know. They yeah. both sound similar. Whatever, what, are, what are them other Canadians, eh? Yes, sir. Yeah, we all talk the same. No do the boot it. Oh, man. <laughs> Yeah, there's a, that's, I don't that's know, a big problem. They all sound the same, don't they? Yeah, they do. Yeah, okay. See, my cousin, my cousins sound agree. the same way. Yeah. I don't know. Like Americans, we sound totally different. Like I'm, I'm from California. I sound completely different from you. But I mean, they're both from Canada. They sound, they sound exactly the same, eh? You know? They're both <laughs> sound like this. I don't know. They're talking to moods. But... Oh yeah. Hey, oh man. Take off your holes, <laughs> eh? Chevy for the last two weeks that I've, I've had from an insurance company. Uh, tonight, I should get that car back, and I'm back into my old 88 Beater Civic with 235,000 miles on it. And man, I'll tell you, this thing on the freeway after driving that brand new car, it feels like the wheel's going to fall off this damn thing. What? Oh. I, I don't suggest I'm... you guys get an old Beater Civic. Jesse, Jesse, let me... Let me... Yeah. Are you saying that the car you're driving now feel like the wheel is going to come off? Is that what you're saying? It feels like it. Well, the thing's got 235,000 miles, man. Wait a minute. Uh, are you yeah, talking about not, the rental car? Or you talking about Chevy. No, 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 man. I'm, I'm, back, I'm back in my car. Oh, you're back in your car. Oh. Yeah, I thought you I, was going to say... I recently purchased a friend's car, but... Oh, it's gone. Well, okay. Well, because I was about to say... Uh, if, if the rental car feel like the wheel is going to come off of it, then yeah, you might have a problem. What kind of car did you have? What, what, what kind of a car do I have now, or what? No, what, 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 was the, what kind of Chevy did you have for your rental car? Uh, we, I had a Chevy HHR, which I had never even heard of before I got it. I guess it's one of their new lines, their new cars. It's the P2. Uh, and it was actually surprisingly nice. Like, I would like to have an American car. Yeah, that's I the forgot how much more comfortable they are. Rip-off. That's, the, that's the PT Cruiser rip-off. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's, it's like way bigger though. Yeah, it, it's a pretty cool car. I mean, it, but you know what? The thing about it is, it's not a real fair comparison because you have a 1988 Honda Civic versus a 2006 Chevrolet. You know, I mean, that's 18. That's 18 years difference. You know. You can't well, yeah, really but know. I also have a, uh, I have a 94 Civic as well. Uh, that's the one I've been driving lately, uh, and that one is nowhere near as nice as that HHR was either. I, so yeah, it might be just because I keep driving old cars, but whatever you do, um, no, you know, think about it is like you got a Honda Civic, so you know those got really good resale values. I mean, in fact, I think the Hondas usually are overpriced, but um, you know, you probably get a good trade in on it. So remember, though, never take their first offer on the trade in. Um, that's that's my experience in the car business. Now that you actually you have experience now, so yeah, because when it when you go when you trade in your car, they're gonna give you um, below below what the car is actually worth, even blue book. Because what they'll do is they'll turn around and you know, they'll wholesale the car and they'll make money off that way too. So because like yeah, some you... cars, some cars they can't be put back on a lot to be resold. Some of them they have to be sold in an auction or wholesale. So. Um, like right, your car got two hundred thirty-five thousand miles on it. If you were to trade it in, 
Mm, oh, it's it's way too late. My car is officially a salvage title now. Uh, on the on the fourth of July, I was going to play poker. Uh, I stopped at a I stopped at a, a an exit of a freeway. Mm-hmm. Some stupid bitch comes up and hits me from behind. So I, I got the money for it, but my car is officially a salvage title now. So it's only worth 150 bucks, I think. Yeah. Ouch. Yeah, you be better off just keeping the car and just buying a, another car outright. But man, let me tell you something. Being with some, being you know, take this with someone who had a car at a 1990 Grand Prix. He had his problems, but it ran until his last day in May. Um, and now I got a uh, 2005 Ford Taurus. Believe me, the car though ain't worth it, especially the 28% interest rate. Oh. You know, I mean, it's um, like every day. I take a look at my asshole and it gets just a little bit more wetter because I know I'm getting. Just, and, and man. Doing it. Look at it this way, man. After yeah, after yeah. days of getting screwed, you get used to it after a while. That's true. Yeah. Eventually, yeah. Uh, be like, oh, I don't know. You feel so bad, you know. You get, you learn to eat vegetables. Yeah, I mean, it's 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 like it's really kind of fucked up, but I mean, I had no choice because I was I was a floating manager at the time and I needed a car or else I'd lose my job. So. I went to the worst dealership in town. I mean, that's what everyone has told me. And, um, yep, it got ripped. They got me 20% interest rate. I put a $1,500 down. So I'm going to pay, wind up paying $30,000 for a $13,000 car. And on top of that, right. when I, when I said, when I, when my, when I trade in a car in five years, it'd be worth about $2,000. No, $3,000. So, uh, yeah. did any of you see the Justin Wong Perry? The real yeah, life so, one? Uh, I saw, I saw the, uh, no, I saw this video, uh, Daigo versus Justin Wong at, uh, what? Evolution 2004. 2004. <laughs> Perry's an entire Chevy oh, yeah. Super with like a pixel. Nobody's seen that. Nah, yeah, I mean, that's unheard of. I what you're talking about. Wait, wasn't that Evo number no, no, 37? No. <laughs> I don't know what numbers were the other ones, or I don't know what the other moments were, but I'm pretty sure that was 36. I mean, yeah, I was I was looking through all the Evo moments today, but I thought I thought 37 really stood out above all above uh, and above no, all the rest. You know, no, no, Evo, Evo moment number 13. Uh, I can't really remember what it was, but I I don't think it was very good. So what happened in this this Daigo? What Justin? What? Well, it might have been a typo. Like uh, I heard there was a lot of international players coming, so. It might have been some Mexican guy named Diego. I'm not sure if I read it wrong. <laughs> oh, shoot. And what and what supposedly what happened what supposedly happened in this video? Well, okay. Like just, Justin Wong is using Chun Li. Uh it's that the bitch with the chains on her on her arms. So check it. Okay. Uh-huh. He's got he's got Diego or Diego or whatever, that the best player from Mexico down to like a pixel life. And he just tries to chip him with a super move, right? You know, she's got that kick super and does, like, massive amounts of chips. Uh-huh. So anyways, but Diego fucking parried that shit down, man, every single hit. And then he jumped and parried, like, the fucking last hit, just as, like, a U.S. serve thing, you know? Like, have you ever seen those and one mixtapes? It was the and one mixtape of Street Fighter. Uh-huh. Wow. So, yeah. Yeah. It was amazing. Wow. Amazing. And, and uh, like, that, when, when did you see that? Oh, sorry, it was on YouTube today. Oh, you saw it on YouTube today? Is it, is it your first yeah, time it, seeing you it? You guys just, this just a search, uh, Daigo Perry 3S, Justin Wong, Chun Li Ken, um, something super happy, fun time, I, I don't remember. <laughs> like, like, was that your first time seeing it today? Oh, yesterday? <laughs> I've seen it twice already now. Oh, you've seen it twice? Wow. Yeah, look up, it was so good, I had to see it again. You know Daigo. what I mean? SRK or something, that's like the first thing that pops up every time. It's Actually, like, Jesse, we've been we've been like fucking with you. Actually that that's like canon now. I mean <laughs> welcome to two thousand four. I mean, Wasn't it two thousand three? You guys wanna talk to you guys wanna talk to the Prince the Prince Harry Potter? What? Hey, Potter, yeah. Fellas, I gotta get up out of here. Potter. I gotta work in the morning. All right, all right, Apoc, oh. thanks a lot for coming, calling in. Oh, thanks again. I love the show. All right, well, hopefully we can have you, you back on soon. I'll email you, Apoc. All right, bro. All right. Bob. All right, now who do we got on in this? 
Is Pilot still on? Hello? Hello? I'm tripping balls, man. It's just that's the number they call. Alright, alright, Mark. Well, I gotta get going because I'm about to lose my house. Okay. You guys take care. Alright, take it easy. Bye bye. Bye. Jesse's a fag. Ouch. That was interesting. Stop recording here. No, falling off a cliff. No.